This is like the biggest Zelda game of all time. I swear to God. Not only have I been still stuck in the tutorial for the last four hours, but I don't think I'm even close to finishing it. And I definitely don't think I'm close to getting anything like a parasol or anything. I've heard that you don't get that shit till way later. Oh, God. <laughs> they really want you to stick around for a long time with this one. So yeah, um, I, I did play a little bit out last time after I finished the stream, but I'm going to continue off from where I was, which was the Room of Awakening. These are all just auto saves. Uh, they're just me fucking around with the physics and just having fun. I didn't do anything really actually at all. Just kind of stacked buying carts on top of each other and tried to see if I can make them fly. But um, <laughs> didn't work, by the way. I think they fixed that glitch. But yeah, I'm starting to realize the depth of this game and how big it truly is. And it's just massive. Like, what the fuck? Massive. How do they do this? It's also like still the same map as it was before, but I guess because of the added layers of verticality, they were able to basically exponentially expand it in multiple directions. So it makes it feel like 300 times as big as it used to. 17.7 gigabyte game, by, by the way. Yeah, for real. This game is like impressively scaled down for how big it is. I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted at just like all the things you can see from this little spot alone. You can see like Mount Doom. You can see dragons flying around all these different continents and cool fucking spheres. It's fucking radical, dude. Yeah, there's like a big orb over there. What the fuck is that? And then there's like a giant cube. What the fuck is that? So many cool things. But I'm still in the middle of the tutorial. Um, currently right now, I have to get to... Uh, whatever the hell. Find Princess Zelda. Raru said you can't open the door at the back of the temple because you're still too weak. You need to get hold of one more light blessing at the island's final shrine to offer at the goddess statue. The shrine is marked by a bright dot on the map. You can go there instantly with a Pura Pads travel feature. So, all right, I gotta go do that, I guess. Uh, now to remember how to do it. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go here. I teleported here, but then I started jumping down like an asshole and it didn't really look at what I was doing. So I guess this is going to get me slightly more life so I can open a door and then find Princess Zelda and then the, day's, then the game will be saved. The day will be saved. The game will be over. Such a huge game and, and done in such a short amount of time. So I'm assuming I need to use the reversal thing in order to get up here. I'm assuming this is all my powers combined. So, let's start with Ascend. I'm not sure where Ascend is going to really come into play. It seems like a cool ability, but I can't really identify, like, its usages other than, like, really, really, really specific puzzles. Oh, what? Traversal. It expands it really well. Okay. It just seems like kind of a one-note power. But uh, I suppose eventually it'll uh, come in handy. Oh, right. Whoa, shit. Forgot to activate the power as soon as I got up there. Anyways, how's your guys' day been? How how's your day been, guys? How's your day's been? How's your guys' day's been? What you been up to today? Me? Not much. Seriously, nothing at all. Lazy Sunday. Lazy, lazy fucking Sunday. You're playing Pokemon. Oh, nice. Getting lost playing Zelda. Also nice. Been at work, but it was chill. That's always good. Chill work is always nice. Me? Gongaga. I said wiener, and that was cons and that was pretty productive. That that is pretty productive. Saying wiener is the most highest form of productivity, actually. 
You should feel proud of yourself. You should feel really proud of yourself. Okay, cool. Found the shrine. What is this? Hello. Did you do anything for Mother's Day today? I said I love my mama. I don't really live with my parents, so I don't really have anything I can really do for them. They're just happy to know that I care about them, really. That's all we really need. I hope you said you love your mama, too. You know? It can be simple like that. It doesn't have to be some huge extravagant thing. Desert loves his mom, lol. Can you imagine? I know, right? God, how cring. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. What the fuck is an energy well? An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you're carrying. This increased capacity will allow you to use Zonai devices for longer periods. It can- I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Shall I begin production, or would you like to me to explain crystallized charges? Uh, get producing! The production will acquire at least 100 crystallized charges. Return when you have collected a sufficient amount. Oh. One note regarding the zonite required to pr process crystallized charges. The mines on the island have nearly run dry. I doubt there's enough left to produce an energy well. But there is more to be had. Check the distant depths of the world below. That is its original source. So you find them in caves? Oh, my flame emitter shield is badly damaged. Shame I don't have another one. It's not Mama's Day in the UK. I had a short panic attack when I heard you guys, like I missed it. Oh, do you guys have a different Mother's Day? Is there like a different like space-time continuum over there? Because ours adheres to like, you know, this universe's space-time continuum for Mother's Day. So like, when, when we have our Mother's Day, the planets are aligned in a certain position so that mothers have insane amounts of power on that one day and that one day alone. When is yours? They have depths of power, immense, immense power. In Mexico, it's May 10th. Oh, that wasn't that long ago. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, that was fast. I didn't make anything up for a bit. That was real. Mother's Day is real. It's a real day on your calendar. Go look it up in a dictionary. Oh, I get it. This is a reversal puzzle. Damn, you're so right. I am so right. Whoa. Rewind! It's like Prince of Persia! You know, I never actually played the PS2 Prince of Persias. I heard they were really fucking good. Were there HD remakes of those ever? Eh. One and two are so good. Rewind is the coolest power in this game. It's like blinks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we take a moment to appreciate none of the powers have a cooldown? They don't? Wait. Oh my God, they don't. There were cooldowns in Breath of the Wild, were there not? Uh, oh. Yeah, I think there were. There were, yeah. That, that, that is actually really nice. I never stopped to appreciate that. I didn't even notice. I guess that does make doing puzzles a little bit less tedious. Because you don't have to wait for something to recharge every time you want to use it. It lets you make mistakes more, and then experiment more as well. I think that's a good theme of this game, is experimentation. I'm gonna say right now, the combat in this game is not something I'm the most biggest fan of. Um, because it does expect you to experiment more than do traditional combat. And that's really cool. 
but I do feel like sometimes I wish I was rewarded more for just doing things straightforward than it doing it like a different roundabout way. Although I do understand why they do things the way they do them. Sometimes it's just nice to just tackle things a very simple way. This game doesn't expect you to do anything simple. This game expects you to do everything crazy. Oh, I get it. Hold on. Gotta wait for it. Did you know Tears of the Kingdom is a strand game? It is a strand game. You didn't know? Link has so many strands of hair. Look at them. They're all flowing freely in the wind. There's no wind in here. Just wait for it. It would be cool to see the creations of other players in this game if that was a possibility. Like with time travel shenanigans, maybe like, I don't know, construction from someone else's like adventure could appear in your game. Also, I just want to say, uh, Koivap, thank you for 29 months earlier. Amethyst Stargazer, thank you for 28. Babbitt, thank you for the 60 months. Also, happy birthday recently. There is so fucking much. There is so fucking much in this game. Kenju, thank you very much for that 38 months. Does it wake up? It's been 100 years again. Rise and keep up the good work. Always a pleasure to hang out here. It's always a pleasure to see you, man. Keep up the good artwork. And thank you for the 38 months. That's very nice of you. Shay, thank you for the bits. And Gamiac, thank you for the 15 months. Oh boy, time to watch the Pagona play Legend of the Undertales of the... <laughs> It is kind of like Undertale. It's got a goat dad. You go underground into ancient civilizations ran by monsters. Yeah, it was Babbitt's birthday recently. Yeah, I've seen a lot of videos of people making funny shit with the Ultra Hand. I haven't really made anything funny myself lately, but uh, maybe we'll get around to doing some stupid shenanigans. It is cool to see how everyone tackles this game in a different way. The hell is this? Wings? Wings? What are we gonna do? Go go flying uh, like a little bird? Glider. Mmm. D's? How would I make use of this? Hmm. Zone I charge. Do I have any Zone I fans? Drop. No, wait, how do I activate the Zonai fan? There we go. So if I attach it like this... Well, that's the wrong way. What if I turn it around? Can I make like a plane? Maybe? I put it right there. Okay, now we need to get wheels on this puppy. And then we have a plane. There are no wheels, are there? No wheels needed. What if I put it like here? Yeah, 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 Go! Go, little freaking plane, go! Go! Holy shit, it's working! What? Oh shit!
Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the missing right brothers. What about it? I, I, I invented flight. They just didn't credit me in the journals. Well done. Yeah, I found a cool floating island. What the hell is here? I have no idea where that plane thing went. <laughs> I think I'm stuck here. So uh, I found a cool floating island. Now what do I do? Maybe. Maybe there's a yahaha. Reptiles flew first. That's true. Did you know there are reptiles that can fly right now? They fly using uh, extensions of the ribcage. Oh, that is such a Korok puzzle. Where's a rock? There's got to be a rock or something I can throw into the middle of that. Or maybe... Oh, nope, there we go. Cool. So I found a little fella. Now I have no idea what else to do here. Found a cool floating island, picked up some shit. Literally got some got some shit from a little fella. What else can I do here? So I did the main quest. Wow, well, that moon is rising really fast. Um, now what do I do? After going to that final shrine that Rauru told you about, you now have four lights of blessing. If you offer them at the goddess statue in the temple, you may regain enough strength to take on the door's test of vitality. Oh, right. The goddess statues, you trade the fucking spheres for health. I remember now. The stinky orbs. Where is that temple? Am I above it? You can warp back up to the shrine if you want to see the birds again. You should jump. Well, hold on. I want to make sure I'm jumping the right way. Oh, there's the temple. Okay. Uh. I might not. Hmm. I might be able to make it from here. I swapped the jump and run controls because I find jumping with B is so much better for combat. Am I gonna make it? 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 No, 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 no! He's not gonna make it. 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 Die. Why did you ignore the massive pool you jumped in the first time? I wanted to see if I can make it. Fucking bone crunching. Time to yahaha -ha again. I have to do it again? It didn't auto save? No, it, no, it saved. Nice, right there. You didn't make it. I did not, in fact, make it. This time I will do, I'll just jump into this one. Uh. Uh, 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 uh! Oh! That, that got a little scary. The hell, Link? He didn't dive? He wasn't even controlling much in the air. Yeah, I'm still not used to the falling speed in this game. And, like, how fast Link can, like, I guess, go against the wind. But that parasol thing was cool. I wonder what other interactions in the game are like that. That's what this game mostly is. It's discovering interactions between objects. And I guess just kind of making your own way while solving all these cool little environmental puzzles that don't even really have a lot of prompting. 
in some ways that makes this game very intuitive, which is interesting. But it's also like, there's not even one single solution to every given situation. So everyone has their own different solutions for everything they do in this game. You can go from one stream to another and see an entirely different approach to every single problem. I've actually been talking to Sphinx a lot about that and it's just fascinating what all people do for like the most simple of puzzles. Even that first tutorial puzzle, people made their own wildly different approaches to it with just like that one handrail and the platform you had to make glide along it. Everyone had different approaches to it. What? I'm right there! Fuck you, Link! My solution is to drown. I want to see Pagona Brain do the work. You will see Pagona Brain do work. You just saw Pagona Brain achieve flight. How about that? Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive, if I may say so myself. In some ways, though, this is a really cool stream game because of just how open it is. Can you not climb? Oh, okay. There you go, buddy. So now I can open this door. It is a cozy game, too, which is nice. It's good for chilling out. I, I do worry, though, because there is so much game of this game that, like, other game will feel less game and be less on the priority list of game to complete. I need to figure out how to balance this game with other games because this game is fucking massive. Because I still got, like, Xenoblade, I got Mega Man, I got Hitman. I got all kinds of games I gotta get through. How am I gonna make time for Tears of the Kingdom? I can't believe I was gonna stack Bloodborne on top of all this. That would have never happened. Pray. Oh god, Elden Ring DLC too. And then also Street Fighter 6 is coming out. Holy fuck, we're about to get like overblown with games, dude. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. Heart container. You want a heart container, yes? Yes. I shall grant the power you seek. Final Fantasy 16 next month too. Yeah, but I don't have a PS5, so that's not happening. Even if I wanted to play it, and I do, I can't. RIP 3 Heart Run. Oh, wait, I just realized this doesn't let you do a 3 Heart Run, does it? Is this the first time they've ever forced a fourth heart upon you? No, wait, no, they did this in Breath of the Wild 1 as well, didn't they? Statue of Bargaining still exists. You can probably, yeah, just like in Breath of the Wild, you probably have to, like, get it taken away. Go and bring peace to the world. No, you could get stamina instead. So this is the first time they've ever forced a single heart onto you? <laughs> Weird. Skyward Sword had six hearts, though. Wait, Skyward Sword forces six hearts onto you? Wait, what? I didn't know that at all. That's the standard. From the start, yeah. You start with six. I forgot about that. Starting with six. Oh, good. 
I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. Go. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Bah. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. But if all he was saying was just bah, bah, bah. And Link's just like, huh? Exactly as Zelda said. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. The goat going for a float. Bye bye, goat. Maybe he'll come back as an owl. Uh. Okay, here's the divine bridge of Limgrave. Uh, what the fuck do I do here? Thanks, Rauru, for leaving me hanging on this broken ass bridge. Oh, right, ascend. Link want up, up, uppies. Whoa, shit. Woo. Wise from your grave. Ascend feels is so cheap, kind of makes the game feel too easy. Rewind and ascend are gross. Really, they have that bad of a synergy together, where you can just like go through anything. It seems really situational to me, like the puzzles have to be deliberately designed around ascend. It's the opposite, it's OP. But that's what they were saying, it's OP. The game's literally built around you using it. Yeah. One guy does. This chat is not very big! Don't jump on the one guy for one opinion. Hey! You can just lift anything in the air with a roof drop and then make anything an elevator. Is that real? Can you actually do that? I'm actually interested in this. Hey, hey, don't, stop, stop shutting them down. Stop it. They have their opinion, let them have it. <gasps> Where is she? Triangulate her position. Twitter. <laughs> Did you hear the clock ticking? Clocks tick all the time. It doesn't mean anything. Yo, Farosh? That's Farosh, right? That's the green one. No? Yes? No, that's not Wronghorn. That's a new dragon? Wait, there's there's a new dragon? I thought they were the, they were the three spirits. Link, you must find me. This one is white. Oh, okay. To the kingdom of Hyrule. 
That's a bit too far of a jump. I don't know about this. I don't know about this, Zelda. Zelda's like, do it. Do it, idiot. Jump. Jump. Jump, Link. I don't know. That's kind of high. Link just sits here for the rest of his life and starves to death because he refuses to jump off. <laughs> He's the ultimate hero of Hyrule, except he has a crippling fear of heights. <laughs> Just climb on down, Link. You can do it. You can do it. No! Oh, man, you know what I need right now? I need Halo music. I need that Halo 2 song where Master Chief is diving after the bomb. Where are we dropping? We're the Metal Gear Solid 3 intro. <laughs> Hyrule Kingdom. So here we are back on Hyrule Kingdom. Apparently this map is a much more fleshed out version than it was before, but also really similar in some ways. I guess I'll mark that off. Let's see where I can see from here. I feel like this is the first time they've ever actually reused a Hyrule map. They typically don't reuse the Hyrule maps. They typically completely rearrange Hyrule every fucking game. Link Between Worlds. Oh, wait, yeah. Link Between Worlds actually reconstructed all of LCTP, didn't they? I forgot about that. That's really cool. I totally forgot about that element of the game. Wow. This game is really pretty when it wants to be. It's simultaneously very similar and very different. Where the fuck is my parasol? I guess I'll head towards this glowing dot. Even though I just marked a shrine. Oh, there's another one over there. Wow. I'm going to be that guy and say, I'm playing this on a 1440p screen and this game is drop dead gorgeous. It just leaves so much to be desired in terms of resolution. I really wish this game had been like a Switch 2 launch game or something just because I feel like this is a very pretty game and it deserves to be seen in its, you know, pristineness. But for what it's worth, for the resolution that they're working with and the frame rate they're working with, this looks really fluid. This looks really nice. It's a very, very arguably beautiful game. And I don't think that it should be honestly docked for its graphics I just feel that at times it does feel like I do wish this game could look nicer because it could I don't think we're ever getting a Switch 2 well I don't think we're getting a Switch 2 but I think we'll probably get something with backwards compatibility the Switch is way too robust of a console for them to just leave in the dust I have a feeling that we're going to have something with cartridges that will probably wind up being able to take Switch games and possibly even making them look a little nicer. But who knows whenever the fuck that'll happen. What the hell is this? There's a nut in this tree. Oh. Found the nut. You found me. Found the nut, boy. That's one you didn't find yet. I just stumbled across him. He was just there. What's this? Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use this materials cache for all your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Hudson Construction. Hudson? Wait, really? 
That's from the other game. They're still around? Huh. It's not long after the first game. I thought it was only like a, I thought it was a couple hundred years. Or wait, no. You're right. It's not long after because what? I thought when Link fell asleep or something like a lot of time went by. More like 20 or something. It seemed like there was a time travel thing that happened when in the beginning of the game, but I thought it like launched Link again like into the future. It's like three to five years, maybe a few months. Is this a meta joke? No, I don't know the story of the game. I'm literally, I, I played it like for four hours and then I didn't play for like two days. I don't know, I'm, I'm still fresh and I'm, I'm still getting used to what's going on here. I don't, I don't know what's going on. You know what's going on. People know what's going on more than I know what's going on. What's going on? I'm, He's fresh. He's like a new baby born. Yeah, like this is a new baby Link. Like, what is this whole big town? What is that? Wait, yeah, what the fuck is that? It's like an oil refinery. What is that? Oil. It. <laughs> Sir showed him. He didn't see that coming. How come Rauru undressed Link in both OOT and this? Well, in OOT, he was giving him more... He was giving him clothes that fit, and I think that was appropriate. He actually unclothed him and gave him clothes back. In this one, Rauru doesn't give him any clothes at all. So, honestly, what's up with the Rauru in this game? The other one made sense. Link can't be running around in clothes designed for, like, a seven-year-old. <laughs> or a ten-year-old, rather. Link? Mr. Link? Is that really you? Where have you been? I guess it hasn't been that long. No one's seen you or Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. Pura has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. It was only 20 minutes. Oh. I think he was out for months. That makes more sense. At the moment, Pura should be in that building with a telescope. Please hurry there now. She'll want to know that you're all right. Okay. Lookout landing. So I guess this is your castle town. Kinda looks like Terrytown. Yo, please tell me Terrytown is still around. I worked so fucking hard on it! No. Link, where have you been this whole time? We hoped you'd come back soon, but then you didn't, now you have. Where's Princess Zelda? You don't bring her you didn't bring her with you? Whatever happened, please go talk to Pura first and foremost. She's up in a research lab. That's on the north side of the fort, up on the second floor. Hurry! Terrytown's now a modern day city. They have like hover cars and air cycles and laser beams and robots. Hmm? What? That hair, those eyes, d d Doc! Oh. Dr. Pura! The swordsman, the swordsman has returned! <sighs> Terry Town's now a space colony. <sighs> oh, you got tall. <sighs> okay. Now, where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? You're not a you're not a small bab anymore. Hey. That looks interesting. Step at a time. You're like a baby that got older. What exactly happened? I met a goat. He took my arm. Oh yeah, there was also a mummy. I might be cursed.
So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Yeah. There was a lot of Kool-Aid. Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Yeah. A mummy who then was a daddy. Later, uh, we don't know if he was a father. Saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rawr. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Yeah, about that Master Sword, um, when can I get that back? Kind of need it. What? Then, that's not what she said. What? Are you saying you came from up there? This Raru you met, I think that's what the first King of Hyrule was named. What? Wait, what, 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 what? Since when? Since when? Raru was the Sage of Light in OOT. What is the earliest Zelda game in the timeline? It's not Zelda 1. Skyward. Okay, the first earliest Zelda game in Thailand with Hyrule. That would be OOT, right? He didn't have a name in OOT, did he? Minish Cap? Yo, oh, yeah, you're right. It might have been Minish Cap. Minish Cap is before OOT. Did the king have a name in OOT? Or, uh, Minish Cap? I I'm just, I I'm just flat, I I'm, I'm, inter I'm interested in this. This is interesting, because it's also a sage's name. It was Daphne's. Minish Cap was centuries after founding. Okay, cool, so this is some interesting lore. We're learning things today. Hmm. Are they the one the same? So much of this doesn't make sense, yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under this castle must be related to the upheaval. Wait, I thought that Raru was a Zonai. Is he not? Maybe he is. I thought he said he was. Don't try to piece this together so hard. But I want to piece it together. I think he is in this game as well. Well, yeah, he said, I thought he said, hi, my name is Raru. I am a Zonai. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm certain that the mummy you found out of the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. And there's, and then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Oh, cool. That's her original art. Pura. 
head of the Lookout Landing, the highest authority on ancient technology. She has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looks like a child not too long ago. Oh yeah, that's right. She's like actually really old. What if instead of a mummy, it was just Melon Guy? I think then we'd all be doomed because no one can stop Melon Guy. He's much too tall. His height gives him power. And the more melons he has increases his height. And no one's keeping watch of the amounts of melons he has. Who knows how many he has now? Okay, so now I need to head to Hyrule Castle. I don't know why the hell I keep hitting that button. Actually, wait, what else is going on around the village? Let's take a minute to look around. Why am I in such a rush? This game is huge. If you complete the compendium in Breath of the Wild, she rewards you with a raunchy photo of herself. I do believe I remember this. No, I remember there being a photo or something. Well, was it? Who? Wait, no. You're thinking fucking Wind Waker, actually, with the foot, with the pictograph. I think. I don't know. The interesting was mentioned the imprisoning war, which was the backstory of El. L a L T T P, which blew my mind because it's only been mentioned like twice. She gives you a golden seed, not a raunchy photo. Yeah, wait, this isn't like Dragon Ball. She gives you a scandalous photo or some shit. Oh. Like, I remember something barely like this. I, I can barely put it together. Feels like a lot of people don't remember this either. Hold on a second. I think the, are we thinking of two different things? Breath of the Wild photo reward. It was just a photo of her older self. Well, yeah. Gosh, oh, you would hope. I don't know. All I'm finding is captured memories in Hyrule Compendium. Let's see. So you mean the mem the me okay, not the not the um com not the memories, the compendium. There's a reward for getting all of them? Compendium reward. Once you've completed your Hyrule Compendium, talk to Simon and he will give you a classified envelope. Inside the envelope is a picture of a young, beautiful woman of the Sheikah tribe. Yep, nope, they're not lying. That's real. You get a photo of a Sheikah woman. <laughs> Spoilers for a game that came out six years ago, dude. Yeah, no, they weren't lying, Chad. They were being, they, that was real. That was a real thing. I guess I'll just keep doing the main quest. Hmm. It's hard to believe these ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends and now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Ah. Yeah. Sure is, but there's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Uh... 
Well, Pure is investigating the upheaval. She's certain it'll provide clues about Princess Zelda. But progress isn't great, I've heard. Uh... Is the princess all right, wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional, but really, who cares about that at a time like this? It is kind of cool uh, that the Zoe and I are so front and center in this one when in the uh, previous game they were like basically an unsaid background element. It's kind of like a complete reversal. I am headed the right way, am I not? Is that a horse? Can I, can I get a horse? Uh, you are not a horse. What the hell are you? What are, oh, you are a pig. You're a big pig. Can you ride pig? Would like to ride pig. That's Gannon. Go get him. No, I, I want to ride the pig. Pigs are smart. You have my support. Hmm? Ah! Duh. Oh, no, darn it all. President Hudson, are you okay? Oh no, what have I done? <sighs> All right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. <laughs> That's him! <laughs> I was like, wait, is he on the thing? Yeah, he is. His name wasn't Hudson, though. What was it? Ah. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault startling me like that. It was Bolson. Yeah, I know it's just a sign, but I have a great respect for President Hudson. It was. He was part of the Bolson camp. Oh, okay. It is Hudson. So I pinned the blame on you. Ah. Unforgivable. President Hudson. Oh. You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the press of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction. And besides all that... Sorry, what's all this? What happened to the other guy? Yeah, Bolson was his boss. Bolson was cool. Ah. Bolson was the guy with the earring, right? I liked him. He got shit done. Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. Bolson was fabulous. Yes, he was. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, <laughs> I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Ah. Oh, unforgivable! <laughs> President Hudson, I'll support you. Hey, I'll help you there, little buddy. There you go. <laughs> what you need here is one of these here new hickeys. Check out this. Can your Hudson do this? Huh? Huh? Didn't think so. Wait, does it is does this not work? Does this is this not how this works? You can't attach it. You have to build an actual support. <laughs> All right. So be it. And 
then I should turn this around. So, yeah, there you go. That'll work. Let go. What is it? I need to stay focused or President Hudson might topple over if I don't give him my full support. Sore, can you not bother me? Try letting go. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Ta-da. Uh. He's, he's holding up. How's the president standing? Ah. That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. What the fuck, it worked. I'm telling you, man, anyone can play this game and have their own unique solution. Just put this right there, get this fastened and... <laughs> Perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Red Rupi. It's red luster tickles your heartstrings. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Oh, nice. Veggie rice balls. This home-style dish of Kakariko Village is stuffed with bounty of the mountains. Ah! Uh, but don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is still a little something from my premium collection. A special little gift from me to you. Sleepover ticket, a lodging voucher for regular stable bed, a reward for collecting pony points. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. Whoa. Oh, it's ad time? Okay, hold on. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. And with that, we play ads. Yeah, you got ads. All right, well, I'll BRB really quick then, and then we can get back to the game. So just one moment, get some hydration going, or uh, get up and take a priss. I don't give a shit, but maybe take a shit. I don't care. I'll be right back.
Okay. Just a quick little BRB. And we're back. Good day. Good day, chat. How are you? Why do you have that Scooby? What do you mean, that Scooby? Hey, you moved my thing! Huh? Scobby? What Scobby? Oh, that Scooby. It, what is that, Mike Scooby with the boob? Yeah, Mike, Mike has Scooby with boobs. I, I don't know why he has Scooby with boob. That's a Mike thing. <laughs> Asking me to explain anything Mike does is a fool's errand. I am just as confused as anyone else. Yes, Mike and his cursed emotes. Where to begin? Thoughts on the new shrine designs? I like them, but why are they goatsy? Like, what? Did they not see this going in? Like, did they not, like, understand what, what that is? Like, they, they just... They just completely just didn't get it? They just, they just didn't, they have, they had no idea. Desert, why? I'm just, I'm just noticing that when you, when you approach the shrine, they open up like a rift and there's like, let's see, how many ridges are on these things? One, two, three, four, five. This is a five ridged, like beveled, like sculpture that makes it look like it has fingers pulling it apart. They come around like arms. I I'm just saying, it looks like a rift is opening with two hands pulling it apart like like a like a portal into another world that you can enter and i'm just wondering why why did they design it that way what's up with that cuz it does look like five fingers oh hi limes <laughs> Hi, welcome to the raid. Hi, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the raid. I'm <laughs> yes, we're talking about the portal. Yeah, hi, hello, how are you? Um, so, like I was saying... <laughs> oh, fucking hell, hi, Lines. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I just got back, and, I, and now suddenly we're talking about this, and now Limes is raiding. Oh, God. Um, yes, you arrived at butt portals. We're talking about butt portals. So, okay, hold on a second. Let me, let me see if I can get it to open up. Then we can study the animation again. So, why? You scared me. What are you doing in a place like this? The Hyrule Castle Chasm is nearby. It's dangerous, you know. Mm. For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous, too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days. What with the upheaval? Watch your back. Let's talk about shrines. What? Huh? You mean like the one right there? When the shrine appeared, it caused such a commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world and overnight was smack on the front page, you know? Mm. So far, we know they're from the Age of Legends. Also, hey, Babbitt, can you give Limes a shout out? I don't know how to do that command. I think it's like exclamation mark shout out or something. How do you do that? Does anyone know how to do that? I never get a chance to do it. No one ever raids this channel <laughs> for like limes and bin. <laughs> oh, you did it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, limes, as well. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they anyway? Ah. Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about the, all the things that sprung up due to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which would be scary. So we need to investigate them. Pronto, what the fuck's a chasm? Oh. More like chasms, you know, the creepy openings up in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of the lookout landing. I heard that members of the research team went rooting around some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. Mm -hmm. The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. I'm doing good today. How are you doing? Okay, so I guess we just have to walk up to it. So you poke it. And then... 
You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Like, look at that. That doesn't look... How do they... All right. So just framing this, you look at you look you look at it dead on, and you have the two snakes coming around towards the center, where it clearly has a nose and upper lip, two rows of teeth, a bottom lip, and a jaw. But when you look at it just right, the snake heads can also look like hands. They can look like fingers. And, I mean, yeah, maybe, like, they're holding something or whatever. I don't know, like, some... But it also looks like they're being pulled apart. And I'm just saying it's like it's pulling the rift open for Link to enter and venture forth into the depths, dark, d dank depths unknown. Also, why do they have to make it green? Green just looks stinky. Oh god, in RE4, they had like Omega Goat, see? There was like 10 hands in that thing. I'm so sorry, this is not usually how these streams go. That's a lie. Oh, a combat test, okay. Uh, fuck, I don't have any fused weapons. Uh, uh-oh. Goatsy has been in Zelda since Ness. That is true, they have been since the fortune teller. Use a side hop, okay. Probably should have taken some time to make some more fucking weapons. Jump out of the way to do a flurry rush. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Okay. I am definitely finding that jump being on B for combat is so much fucking better overall. I can't do this shit with Y. It, it's just not gonna happen. Okay, do it. You mean X? Yeah, sorry. My brain is thinking non-Nintendo controls. Well, no, X is... Well, yeah, X is jump. Or X is originally jump. I make X... I make jump B. Because that feels more like N64 style controls for, like, attacks. And that's what I'm used to. Oh, wait, what do I want me to do? What did it say? Oh, parry! Uh, do I even have a shield? That's block. How was it that you... How do you parry again? It's A. Oh, right, there you go, thank you. I shouldn't be reading. Build up your power, then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Okay. Your mastery of these techniques has earned your act earned you access. Proceed within. By default, X is jump and B is sprint. The game has the option to switch them. Yeah, and I made my sprint X because I feel like that just fits it way better. Personally. Oh, wait, whoop. Oh no, I wish it was L3 as well. If I can make this game mimic Elden Ring controls, I so would. I so would. I don't know how well that would work, but I just, I don't know, my brain defaults to them.
Elden Ring really did a good job with its controls. This game has very similar mechanics in terms of like jumping and running around. Why do devs not let people rebind controls? Because for some games, sometimes the controls layouts, they're like part of the intended game design. And it's really tricky to try and let people rebind them completely because it completely fuck up the game. Sometimes they're literally that like complex or context sensitive that it's hard to move the buttons around themselves. Yeah, Elden Ring's controls are so embedded in my brain that I like, I'll boot up Monster Hunter and I'll accidentally do like Elden Ring inputs because I don't know, third person combat just defaulted to that eventually over time. Getting used to this game's combat is going to be a bit of a process. I'm getting it though. I just have to remember it's not Elden Ring. But yeah, jump being B feels more intuitive than it being Y. I just don't feel right reaching all the way over to Y for a jump. For a run, it's fine. But then I also have to claw whenever I want to run jump. And I really just wish instead of sneak being on L3, that it was a run on L3. That would fix so many fucking things. That or like this being something else, I don't know. Whoa, was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Um, what is it? We're close to the chasm here, so it's dangerous, you know? For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. My point is lots of things are dangerous here ever since the upheaval, so be careful, okay? <laughs> The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. Speaking of, let's head on over. I'm assuming I'll get my parasol if I keep following the main quest. Hyrule feels designed for the parasol. It's frustrating getting around without it. Like, straight up, it does feel frustrating. It's definitely designed for the parasol, this whole map. The sooner I get it, the better. The game feels naked without it. It does, which is really weird that they made the choice to not give it to you as soon as you were done with the tutorial, but I guess I understand why they would do that to make it, I don't know, feel more appreciated. But those who played Breath of the Wild 1 already know the, how important it is to the maneuvering of Link. I don't really need to understand how important it is the mechanics of the game. <laughs> I just kind of wander already. Huh? Who's there? Hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. Link, it's you? I'm sorry. I had no idea that you returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? Huh? You should go talk to Captain Haas. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find at the very end of this road. Wait, that was a puzzle? All you had to do was go around the gate. What's, the even, what's even the point of a gate if you can just go around it? Nothing. Bad gate. That took Jerma 62 seconds to solve. Poor Jerma. Everyone sets the standard against Jerma. That's a lot of pressure. But that means if he sets a world record, everyone will know it. Oh? Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. Ah. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of the road.
God damn, this castle's huge. Didn't Jeremy do Devil on his first or second try and took Desert like two hours? It took me like three or four hours. Jebel was so fucking hard, dude. I was not ready for that at all. He did it first try. That's really fucking cool. He also beat Hades on his third run. The boss. Oh. I was about to say, wait, is that even possible? <laughs> that doesn't seem possible. You the crafting? Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Ooh. Hey, it's a new face. Ooh. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. <sighs> They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. So they gave the durability system an in-like ga game lore, me like meaningful. <laughs> they like made it like canon. And now everything's decaying. <laughs> They couldn't come up with an explanation for why everything broke so easily in the first game. So now for this game, they're saying, yeah, everything's fucking decaying. Sorry about that. So wait, I can fuse this with a stone axe. Oh, fuse has already been used on it. Okay. Uh. So what about a rusty broadsword? Soldier spear with a rusty broadsword. I love the fusions in this. It's so dumb. <laughs> this has got to be the dopiest Link ever. Running around with all these, like, hack job swords. Just completely slapped together. It's like a nuts and bolts game. This is like a rareware game. Just completely silly. The Legend of Gmod. This is where I need to be, right? Is it not? Or it's like Dead Rising 2. Yeah, it could be like that too. Look around, I guess. Do what Link do best. Explore. Explore all the space. Think lizard logic. Climb higher. Look at him monkey manning around. There he is. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link? Is that you? You're alive! And all in one piece it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Huh? Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is, is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Hmm. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain! It's Princess Zelda! Uh. Hey. Hmm? Princess Zelda, she's safe! Whoa. Oh, she fly. Hmm? 
Wait, what? Huh? You saw that too, Link? You saw Princess Zelda turn to light and fly off, right? How strange. This, this is an emergency situation. Hmm. Why would she leave us without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know as soon as this, as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Oh? Princess Zelda dissipated into the light. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I cannot understand. She was there and then she wasn't. Okay, so now I go back to the, the city. Can I just fast travel? I don't have a fast travel for the city. Are you fucking serious? Wait, what? You have one close. You would think Pura's house would be one. It's story related? Oh, okay. You do a good Scottish accent, Desi. No, I don't. <laughs> You're kind. Yo, lizard! Oh, it's gone! All I do is impersonate characters from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and, and do so poorly. That is the best Scottish I can do. The fuck is that? Yo, big fucking rock? What the? <laughs> Bagoblins! <laughs> Get him! Is that even your head? What the? Get back here! Hey! Duh. Oh, goblin arm. Oh, goblin horn. Cool. More monster parts. What the fuck are these rocks that just fall from the sky? What the hell was that? Can I even get up there? What? 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 The hell is this? Where did it come from? What the fuck? Take me back to where you came from. Go, little freaking rock, go! Going up! Uh, 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 rewind. What? What do you mean it came from nothing? It was just up here the whole time? What is a spontaneous generation? This isn't how fucking science works. It's easy, chat. We'll just stop it right before it hits the ground. See? Just like in elevator real life, you jump before it hits the ground when it falls. And you'll be perfectly fine. So if you ever find yourself falling in an elevator in real life before it hits the ground, just remember to jump. And everything will be Daijabu. 
actually clever. Yeah, I know, right? I'm smart. I have a, I have a degree in, in sciences. Yeah, you have to do a frame-perfect jump. If you don't do it frame-perfect, you might break your legs. Or your whole body. Pose. Pose. Uh. Pose. Well, I'm glad it didn't say toes. That would have been even scarier. Who's mad? Hi, Pura. Ha <laughs> ha. Link, well, did you find anything? Huh? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that you've... It tell me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off as we look around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see for, for a sec? Hmm? It's a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Ah. Oh, right. I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule. We need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Ubisoft Towers. Joshua. Joshua. Yasha? Is it Yasha? Joshua. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. It's Josha. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen. It's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, ah. talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, mm -hmm. you should go to Mub Shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, Josha. Let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Check it. Josha, you're in charge of the switch. Woohoo! Okay, Doc, you can count on me. Okay. So I gotta go take a little nap or go to the tower. I guess I'll go to the tower. Yo, Switch, is that a Nintendo reference? Maybe. Hmm. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh-huh. That should do it. Ah. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey! We're ready, Josha. Pull the Switch! Why is that emote still Santa? I don't know. Just because it is. I just like it for its use. Whoa. We launching satellites now? 
<laughs> Neat. The Hyrule Space Program is going well. Oh, the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. Go hold the Purapad over that terminal and activate the 5G tower. That's what these are! That's your fast travel point. 5G fast travel? Huh. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Purapad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Ah. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Purapads work with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly on the map. Uh huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. The only thing is you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here has what it's had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Oh, there we go. This item given to you by Pura lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press B in midair to activate it. Mm -hmm. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. Ah. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, all right? Huh. It's gonna be like Tetra in the goddamn cannon. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. Okay. Cool, so can I just... Oh, whoop. While you were doing that, I'll be keeping an eye on you at the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. Okay. I was gonna see if I could, like... Yep. Neat. Finally, that was a missing element. You can leave, but you should probably do this. No, I'm going to do it. I just wanted to reacquaint myself with an old friend. Well. Paragliding in open world games really did kind of like become a thing after Breath of the Wild, I noticed. It was just that good of a mechanic. Yeah, they're very useful in fun open world games. Absolutely. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? They're going to the moon, cadet! This is how we um, we do satellite stuff in real life. We just send like a monkey up into space with a little cell phone and then they just scan the earth. This is actually true to life. Surface map updated. This is 7G, not 5G. 7G uses chimps. Yes, space chimps. Sky map updated. 
Does this game have the map mechanic where you can see all the places Link has been and where you've died? And after you, like, do the whole game, like, you can just basically have this giant, like, 30-minute long excursion where you just watch yourself go around the world dying left and right. Yes, but not right away. You can see rip locations. Yeah, but you gotta do a side quest for it. Oh, okay. Oh. What a pretty game. What a huge, pretty game. Hyrule looks so small from here. I disagree, it looks enormous. Yeah, this is all Monolith Soft's doing for real. That was fucking rad. What's your favorite piece of media where a main character gets their arm replaced? There's a lot. Uh, this, Full Metal Alchemist, Akira. Um, does Mega Man count? Because he's got a buster arm? I guess not really. Sekiro. Yeah, Sekiro would be one. Trigun would be another. Berserk. Metal Gear 5. Yeah, Metal Gear 5, God Hand. God Hand would be another one. Hi-Fi Rush is one, but I haven't played that yet. Evil Dead, that's another good one. Resident Evil 8? <laughs> kind of. Kind of, yeah. A little bit? I, I, I mean, technically no, but also kind of. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. Well, RE7 then. RE7 makes more sense, yeah. Replaced with nothing? Well, replaced with a hand that can not get cut off forever. He can just put it back on, I guess. Kind of a bit of a hand replacement. It's technically, like, an upgrade. I guess. So how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Moldy hand. Good, that map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Hmm. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Oh, Barrett? Yeah, Barrett had a replacement arm. That's true. Does Doro Roro count? Um, yeah. But that's like your whole body. Doro Roro is, um, more than just your arm. <laughs> Doro Roro is basically Sekiro, but like on crack. The first report comes from Hebra on the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Laneru to the east. The strange phenomena are connected to these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got this nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Um... Hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put that much stock into hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Ah. Oh, and before I forget, Link. We've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the going-ons in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance at Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here, directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. 
I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Okay. What the fuck is that sound? Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with Goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Goggles. This bands? Oh, oh, what a pleasant morning. Oh, hey, you. You're actually back. It's been a long time. Yeesh. Do you have any idea how worried we've been about you? Farah told me everything. <laughs> Pura and I worked together on a design for the Pura Pad, but I'm the one who put it together, you know. We called it the Robbie Pad. Technically speaking, we should have called it that. But Pura went and slapped her own name on it, grabbing all the glory. Whatever, it's fine. Anyway, Joshua wanted to talk to me about something, so I'm waiting for her right now. Pura asked Joshua to research the chasms. There's a big mission for such a young person. But she's a prodigy, you see. Puts the rest of us full-grown adults to shame with all she can do. Maybe she's discovered something that could that even my imagination couldn't conjure. Oh, it's you! You know that pure pad of yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect. I'll need to head back to the lab when Josha's got the depths investigation sorted out. Huh. Come on, Goggles, are you even listening to me? Oh, oh um, yes. Sorry, you were saying? Uh. I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. Um. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are... Far too vast for you to explore on your own. And we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? <sighs> but no matter how wondrous they may be, it's too far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then I should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Huh. Oh, Swordsman, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Josha. We've already met her. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team has brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Yeah, that's 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 Rao. That's how he died in Fist of the North Star, when he punched the heavens and pierced the sky and caused the rain to return to the wasteland. Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there. So I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Oh yeah, he also healed Yuria, that's true. Aww. And killed Ray. Yeah. That, well, <laughs> I wasn't gonna talk about that. <laughs> Rao did a lot of stuff. Rao's awesome though. I fucking love him as a villain. He's like one of the best antagonists that actually felt like they had a purpose. Like, I don't know in the scheme of things overall. I don't know, he just adds a whole lot to Kenshiro's story, it's great. No, not Rauru. Rao from Fist of the North Star. Similar names, but not the same character at all. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Mm. Josha, come on now. 
I'll tell you what. I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure on that slate. Ah, and Link will join me! We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your PurePad's camera to take a picture of it for Josha. A perfect plan! Camera? Who? You don't know about the camera? It's one of PurePad's basic features! With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in your pad there. <sighs> Sounds like you still have more to learn about the PuraPad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there anyway. There'll be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. <gasps> Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. <sighs> Ta-ta! Huh. Wait, hang on! <sighs> Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all this, Swordsman. Goggles means well, but he wants to help but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Oh cool, some bright bloom seeds for lighting up caves. Oh, and take this too. Some arrows for shooting shit. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of the lookout landing southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles ju used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works. <laughs> but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Camera work in the depth. So wait, is my main quest right now, is it that side quest or is it now the camera quest? What is it? Oh, it's camera work, okay. So, in order to select a different quest, Okay, you just selected here. Got it. And if it's... If it's got one of these little, like... Selectable things, then it's a selectable quest. Okay, cool. I'll do this one for now. It's a main quest, too. Oh, okay. Um... Well, I can't believe this, but it's already ad time again. So, um... Wow, that was a fast hour. You like this one? Why don't I take a really quick ad break so ads don't play over the stream and then we get right back to this and then go uh, help old Gramps out in a cave. Yeah, it's break time. So, uh, I don't know. Go try and touch your toes or something. Get up. Get some hydration. Better your life. Better yourself. I'll be right back. One moment. Touch feet.
Um, hi, I need to make a correction earlier. I said Rao returned rain to the wasteland. It wasn't rain, it was light. <laughs> it was light to the wasteland. That wouldn't have made sense either because he broke the sky when he punched it. You can't have rain without clouds. <laughs> Little minor difference. I need to rewatch Fist of the North Star. Yeah, he parted, he, he, he parted the heavens, so whatever. <laughs> Returned, it's a fucking desert. Well, the wasteland of Fist of the North Star is just Earth after World War III. And the idea is that Rao basically died by punching the sky so hard with all of his life force that it like parted like the fucking plague clouds above and then let the sun shine back onto the land. Which wasn't a very common thing during the series. Anyways, that's not Zelda though. That's Fist of the North Star. We gotta go help an old man get some pictures. I'm going the wrong way. He did the ultimate pretzel input. Pretty much, yes. But yeah, you know what? Someone brought up a point. So during that fight, this is Fist of the North Star spoilers. I don't know if people actually give a shit about this because this is a series from like the 80s and I'm highly doubting if you haven't seen it yet, you probably will never watch it. But um, <laughs> anyways. When Rao challenged Kenshiro, he faked Yuria's death, right? She wasn't actually dead, right? But then she's dead later, so what the fuck happened? And yes, yeah, wait, what, so what, what the hell was the point? She was dying, right, I forget. She actually died? I forget, how did she die? It was to provoke Ken, right, it was to provoke Ken, but then, then she dies anyways? Like, wait a minute, what? Radiation sickness, it was radiation poisoning. Oh, was it radiation poisoning that got her? I totally forgot about that. He prolonged her life with pressure points. What a bro. I mean, not really, he was a maniacal asshole, but like, he did kind of like, at least help her out <laughs> a little bit, I guess. Kept her alive longer. He's just like Toki, but she didn't have the Jesus powers. Oh, right. Toki was also dying for radiation sickness. I forgot about that. Whoa, whoa! Hmm? Hey, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing over the edge of a chasm. My colleague who works with me is on the Zonai survey team, and he's down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? 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 Oh? Don't start on me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. Okay, but I gotta get down there. Hmm? I told you, don't go walking up behind someone standing on the edge of a chasm. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Huh? Oh. Don't startle me. Prick. Where's Oldman? Why is there Mario Sunshine goop everywhere? Traveler, don't do that if you touch that well. It'll sap your strength and you'll end up like me, too sluggish to move. Oh, I feel awful. Nah, Traveler, you feeling okay? Folks are calling this stuff gloom. If you care about your health, it's best not to go near it. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength like it's sapping your life away. <sighs> I touched some gloom while poking around the depths. Now look at me. You'll recover from the worst of it on your own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. While you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Huh. Some investigation leader I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. I'm completely reliant on Davil, so I really want to recover by nighttime. 
Oh, there's a shrine over here. Hold on, let me go get this. Yayosin Shrine. Do you think a roguelike with this game's mechanics would be good? Yeah. Um, if I were to think of a game that is a roguelike with this game's mechanics, I would think of Ravenbound immediately. Although Ravenbound doesn't really have shrines as far as I know, but it does have the open Breath of the Wild style world and the ability to traverse it with like a big, like you become a bird and you fly around it. It's probably the closest I've ever felt to an open world game feeling like Breath of the Wild that was also roguelike. But it didn't have like this in it. If it does have this kind of th stuff in it, I didn't see it in the demo of that game. I was really impressed by it though. I'm sure there could be a way to randomize like segments of dungeons and then piece them together individually, kind of like how Doom did their like uh, level creator. My worry though would be that you would eventually come across chunks that would be exactly the same. And a lot of the novelty of these puzzles would be gone after you came across that too many times. Like how many times could you do the same puzzle before it got old? But also, would you be able to take different chunks and then combine them and get different, like, puzzles out of that? That's another question you need to ask. Like, are, can these work in random assortments? I would think that maybe they could work in random assortments, but it seems like a lot of these puzzles do best when they're, like, themed off of each other. Like, this one's clear clearly put the right shape through the right hole. If you were to do this in a roguelike, it would have this, but then also a bunch of other random themed gimmick like puzzles as well centering around it, which would kind of take away from it somewhat. Am I making any sense? I, I failed the square hole challenge, but who is surprised? Desert. What? 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 I, I, I got it. There. Easy. Desert, please. I, I, it's fine. I have it. Everything is Daijobu. Everything is Daijobu. It's a toddler check. It is a toddler check, and I am not a toddler. I am a 32-year-old man. Oh, some strange blue goo to drink. Lime's had a lot of trouble with this shrine. I mean, you got to get the angle perfect if you want to drag it through. I'm going to get through this shrine lickety split. You'll see. I've already figured out this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him in there. Get him in there. Pull. 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 Come on! But, but now it's too high. Wait a second. Okay, like that then. And then... a little too much it's like a certain very narrow point it's I, I got it just give me a second here you gotta like gotta like jiggle it 
You gotta jiggle it, like jiggling the keys in the lock to make it fit. I'm not a toddler. I am not a toddler. See? Not a toddler. I am not. See? Got it. Good. Baby Pagoda. Nope. Passed the test. Passed it. Goo goo gaga. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Goo goo gaga it up, motherfucker. I don't give a shit. I got the I got the fucking block through the for the damn hole. Go ahead, tell your jokes. Make your jokes. I don't care. They don't define me. They don't define me. You don't know me. Ow. Also, Furry McGunn, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you. Minoka Dobo, thank you for the 57 months. Thank you very much. Retro Nomad, thank you for the 39 months. Noe Ralph, thank you for the 20 months. Desert help this game has consumed all my free time these past few days. Now I feel good that I'm streaming this because otherwise, yeah, that would have been in the same boat. Chat, I've been so bored not being able to play this game because I decided to make the mistake of streaming it. I've been so bored. I just look at this game and I'm just like, I want to play it, I want to play it, I want to play it. But I'm not streaming, so I can't play it. Just stream for 14 hours. I know, right? I was so bored, I booted up Dota. You know how bored I gotta be to boot up Dota? Past the threshold of what's considered dangerous. Which Dota? Two. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I was like, I gotta get time to pass by somehow. Street Fighter wasn't doing it anymore. Are you going through depression? Maybe. Maybe. Cassettes, thank you for the 38 months. After doing this shrine, I was reminded of that fan art of Desi with a giant brain saying, I have solved this puzzle for children. <laughs> but, but I do have a giant brain. It's huge, it's throbbing, it's massive. Mitch McGee, thank you for the 59 months. I hope you're loving this game as much as I am. I am loving it. I am loving it a lot. It is a very well-made game. <sighs> am I intimidated as fuck by this game, though? Oh, yeah. I have no idea how long this one's gonna take me, fellas. There's no way I'm 100%ing this, I'll tell you that right now. It feels weird returning to this game, like, I say returning to it. I'm not returning to it. This is a new entry. It feels like you're returning to Breath of the Wild from 2016 or 2017. Just because it's built off of it so blatantly, but like, it's still really refreshing and new at the same time. It is called the sequel. I know, I'm just... Is it weird that I'm used to game sequels being like radically different from my choice of games having that be a thing? Like, okay, I just played through Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, right? Every entry in that game is radically different from the previous entry. Like they're completely different games fundamentally. Wow, what is this? Fucking gluttony's stomach? I could never do this shit kind of shit in real life. I saw a video of someone climbing down like a 200 foot hole that they just found in the middle of a forest and finding this giant cave network underneath the ground. And I just thought to myself, there's no way I'd fucking do this. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zonai survey team. 
Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Uh... But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Ah. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And I last saw him, he was... Heading way out there, off to the west. It's like a whole new world down here. Do you have any bright bloom seas with you? I do. Ah. Oh, that's great news. Light from here, from the surface, doesn't reach down here. As you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves and they'll light up if struck, so they're plenty easy to use, too. We use the seeds for all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Select material and throw to oh. get, hold to get, throw the throw to hold to throw the hold. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. Okay, fire with oh. the bow, press up, attach the bow, throw the bow. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of these seeds with you. Look at your map. Huh? Whoa. Oh yeah, there's like three maps now, because there's the sky map, the surface map, and now there's the depths. That is really cool. So like I was saying at the start of the stream, the verticality of this game has really exponentially increased the amount of, like, map there is. It's really cool. Just, I don't know, adding one dimension adds so much more. What are these? Three times more map per map. Pretty much. A multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It's, it excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. Oh. I should probably, uh... Utilize a, uh, a bright bloom. There we go. So what the fuck is this? Nisage light root. Examine. That's a booty hole. Eh? Dino DNA. This is like the Siofra River from Elden Ring. Or the Ainsel River. Those two underground regions from the Nox Kingdom. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Oh. Big ol' bright bloom. Dino DNA. Every time I see a big hunk of amber, I think of that fucking quote. Good movie, though. Examine. Is this the cookbook? Hey, you. It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some blight broom seeds with me. Blight broom. Bright bloom. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Huh. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root I see shining west of here, so you, you better hurry up and get moving. Got to head west. Oh, there it is. I see it. This game is good with its, like, directions. I'm finding it easy to get around despite how big this game's world is. They're good at, like, just guiding you. 
Hey, you, still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Excuse me. Get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I haven't still kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Yosha wants us to find. I'll be count continuing to head west toward one of the glowing routes I see ahead. See you soon. So I guess we just keep on going along and just lighting up these routes. Lighting up the world. Yeah, doesn't Robbie have like night vision goggles? What the fuck do those goggles even do? Why is he wearing them if they don't help him see? Bomb flowers. Wow. Eh? The hell are you? Frog? What the? Some kind of fucked up beaver? What the? Whoa! What the hell are you? Bam! Bam! Get spanked! Ah, oh, shit. Whoa! Little Dolagama? Oh! Crafty little bugger! Burn. There's Zonai? Why do they drop Zonai? I thought Zonai were like constructs. Those are like living things though. Weird. Nom. I think they eat the rocks. Oh, so they're like Dodogamas. So they are Dodogama. Huh? Those don't look right. Whoop! Not today! Eh? Want some more? Ooh, Moblin. Here we go. Hey! Come here. Come at me, bro. kicked me dick okay got a moblin horn I gotta get used to aiming with the gyro again also I'm gonna say that I've gotten used to this controller that I bought the uh, Gola Kid King Kong Pro 2 I read that the gyro on it had like delay. I'm not feeling any delay in this gyro whatsoever. So I think that review was just really old or like they had a bad controller or something. If you ever came across that one, I'm not experiencing it. This is a controller I read a lot of good reviews about and I'm slowly starting to like a little bit more as I use it. It's more prominent on PC because it's doofy on Switch, it's fine. Oh, so the lag is from the PC connection. Okay. Also, um... I think I figured out what was going on with this controller getting, like... weirdly disconnected whenever I plugged it in. Apparently the Switch has a setting where you can control whether or not a controller works if it's plugged in or not. And I had to turn that on. But on the flip side, this disables its ability to detect amiibos, but I don't really give a shit about that because I don't really scan my amiibos much in these games. 
and it's just a sweat. It's just a sweating, a setting. I have to switch on and off. It's to try and stop people from making USB amiibo amiibo emulators, amiibo. Except it doesn't stop you from using NSC amiibo emulators. Okay, so that was Nintendo's way of like countering piracy then. Interesting. You can get Android apps that emulate NFCs. Yeah, I know. I I, I know a lot of people that do that. <laughs> Lots of people do that now. Especially because of scalping. I mean, can you fucking blame people? I, I can't. I can't blame people at all for that. Nintendo's very weak anti-piracy measure that fucks over other third-party controllers. Makes them a bit jank. But now that I understand how it works, it's fine. I actually like this controller a lot now. It handles really well. It feels really nice. And if the gyro works for, like, the Switch games, then that's all I give a shit about. Let's see. Let's drop a fucking tree branch. Whoa, whoop. And now I have to eat again. I need food. I need real food. Oh God. Eh? Whoa. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, shit! Okay, I really need to cook. I need, like, a cooking pot or something badly. Yeah, I hit the home screen a lot on the Pro Controller on accident. It's just kind of how they're all... I don't know why, it's just the placement of them and all of them. Every single one I've ever used. There's a good mushroom by the ladder. Oh. Puff shroom. Spreads a cloud of fine spores when a stimulus is applied. The bitter powder makes them inedible. Oh. But I, I assume you can, like, put that on a shield and, like, make it into, like, a fucking weapon. Let's see. Do I have any heals? What do I have? Uh... I can eat the peppers. Well, actually, maybe not. Wait, do these not actually... He can't read. Eh? Look at your health. No, I know, it's not going up. So this doesn't bring it up either? You got morbed. You missed a pop-up about your health earlier. Oh, right! I'm cursed! It broke my hearts! I forgot about that! Right, I have to go back up to get uncursed. Right, right, right. You lose max HP down here. You got stinky damaged. Yep, I got stinky damaged. I should play more carefully. Did not even think about that. Okay, so fuse with Zonite Sword. That does not last very long. Probably should have done it the other way around. Uh, what is that? 
Whoa! The hell are you? Whatever you are, you're fucking dead. Use it with monster parts. Makes homing arrows. Makes weapon flies farther. You can break boxes by picking them up and dropping them. Oh. You might need to make a tactical retreat. I wanted to get to this, like, shiny, shiny spot first, if possible. Seems safe enough. Yeah, if there's a way to uncurse yourself down here, I don't know what it is. But I suppose we'll see if this gets me anywhere. Okay, there's the old man. You can throw seeds. Yeah, I know, and then you can smack them. I just like to shoot them. I don't know. Feels nice. Feels intuitive. And they haven't been hurting for arrows much. Don't need to smack them if you throw them. True. Throwing them lights it up. Throw does not equal drop. Okay. Eh. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Oh, okay, so that, that makes it so I can heal. Got it. Now I can heal. Just had to learn the new rules of the game. I'm gonna say right now though, Link stuffing his face to heal all the time is something I didn't like about Breath of the Wild and I'm kind of annoyed that they didn't address in this. It does still feel like I'm constantly pausing the game to basically brute force it. I don't know how you'd get around that other than making it so that Link has like some kind of stomach meter. But clearly they decided not to go that route for this, so I'm not going to complain about it anymore. I'm just going to say probably my least favorite part of Breath of the Wild was the constant food eating. Easily the least favorite part of it. Doesn't make it bad. Just as kind of like. After a while, I stopped eating in Breath of the Wild 1 just because I got so tired of going into the menu. The curse fixes that a bit. Yeah, it seems like they're adding more ways for you to need to eat more. It seems like they're trying to balance it. So I guess we'll see how that goes. You can just cook food, sir, one quick heal. But that's that's what I mean. Like, you get hurt, and then you eat food. You get hurt, and then you eat food. And then later, people realize there was an exploit where if you healed Link up to full, he could never die because nothing can one-shot him if he's at a, after, a certain, after a certain amount of hearts that Link has in Breath of the Wild 1. If you were to heal past that point, nothing could ever kill Link. And then if you just filled your arsenal with nothing but food, you could brute force the entire game and basically rush down Ganon from minute one. So long as you just went around cooking the entire time. I don't know. It's an interesting approach to the game, but also I feel like it helps you brute force it a little bit too much. If you're at full health, you have an endure mechanic. It's only a master mode that... Oh, and Master Mode did not have the Endure mechanic, so they actually took that away. I actually didn't know that about Master Mode, if that was a actual thing. What? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down the, in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... <sighs> like we're on the surface. Just 
just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. <sighs> hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. This statue, it's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Josha showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. Oh, that's right. I forgot you had to use the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given one of Purapad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Purapad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Capture images use the pure pad. You can then save it to the album. Whoa. Ah! Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture your picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Okay, so uh, just, uh, do this and then capture that and... Uh... Yeah. Same, same, same statue, same image. <laughs> Good. Ah. Hey, you! How'd that go? If you've captured an image of the statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Oh, Pet Man, thank you for 32 months. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that a lot. It's very nice of you. Poppin' to say the g hi, game is great. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you for the tier two, by the way. That's really nice of you. Awesome. It's McGee. You did a tier two as well. Thank you so much. 59 months. Thank you, fellas. That really means a lot. That is very kind of you. I didn't even see that at first. That really helps things out. Thank you. Gets us closer to emotes and stuff like that. Tier two of the kingdom. So, did you get a good picture? <laughs> Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Josha will be satisfied with this. <laughs> Statue with raised arm. Lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of that statue. <laughs> You've just started helping us research what's down here. But soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Josha wait too long for that picture. Kurai, are you here right now? Kurai, was it you or Babbitt that started watching Fist of the North Star? I forget which one of you it was. We need to continue it. That was you, Babbit. Babbit, we need to continue it. I haven't seen it in a long time. Not for like... The last time I was sat through all of Fist of the North Star and Fist of the North Star 2 was probably about... the time I was playing Breath of the Wild last. Just about. You want to finish up FMA? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. But definitely, it is such worth a watch. It is such a good anime. Like, the manga is definitely better than the anime, but, like, even the old anime, I feel like, aged really well. And it's just a really, really cool post-apocalyptic story. So how the hell do I get out of here? I just, I guess, teleport? I have, you know what? I never saw the movie version. I never saw the movie version that, like, condensed the entire series into one movie. 
I am not caught up on Demon Slayer yet. I think I'm going to wait for season four to finish and then I'm going to binge it. That was really fun to do with season three. The manga for Fist of the North Star is beautiful. It is one of the most detailed mangas I've ever seen. Oh shit, a Rito. Pelican Rito. Ah. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Hmm. Link, you say? Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy! <laughs> you got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ah, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Are you the new Cass? Oh. I'm Penn, by the way. I, I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being attacked. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I'd had to flap all over the place to cover the news. It's Big Morgan's... Oh, hey, it, yeah, it's Big News Morgan's from One Piece. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? He was also a Pelican newspaper bro. Well, not really a bro, kind of like a mob boss. <laughs> that dude was vicious. His titties are huge because birds need massive pectorals in order to sustain flight. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seems like a brave, seemed like a brave type and all. That's all it takes. Ah. A newspaper is based in Habra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Is it a thing in Japan that p pelicans bring mail? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then. So long. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon also does it. No, they use robots in Japan. They don't have mailmen? Ha! Huh, didn't know that. Hmm. Hiya, Linky. Popping by to make an appearance? I don't see any visible injuries, so you must be holding up okay out there. It's robot pelicans. They use robot pelicans. Have you made any progress on investigating the four regions like I asked? There's another village that might yield more answers, so I'm directing an investigation of what's going on over there. What other village? Mm -hmm. Kakariko Village, home of the Shika tribe. It's off to the southeast in the Kluda region. Zonai ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell directly on top of the village. Hmm. There's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai survey team's elites are taking on the investigation. If you want to know about the Zonai, you should talk to them. If you want more info, talk to Atmos down the shelter. He can probably point you to the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where they're needed and has extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more than I can about various regions and peoples. Hmm. Anyway, I can get help from the research division for this, but I'm entrusting the investigation of the four regions with the phenomena to you. Check it. Keep me posted. Check it! Alright, let's go talk to Oldman. How long was Link knocked out? Like a few months, maybe, it seems. Hey, you! Show Josh the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well and looks cool, darn cool, too. Hey! This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is oh. a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities, there's so much more to research. 
Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found us all of this. What do you think it's for? Sub racks. Hmm. Used for things, I guess. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you'll find them useful. Whoa. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. We're now closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. We must get to that lab. Ah. Great job getting the picture of the figure that Joshi was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. Oh. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The parapad has even more potential functions, you know. <laughs> Listen up. Big update here. Your pure pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. I'm in, I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who knows the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the pure pad research lab in Hateno Village. Purapad Research Pad for Lab. Purapad Research Lab. That's right. It's a lab detected to the enhancement of the Purapad, which Pure and I have developed. Once I'm in that lab and you join me there, I can improve your Purapad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, off in the southeast corner of the High Rule. On its far side is Atena Village. Go a bit farther than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting edge lab. But for now, Joshua's investigations are my main priority. So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Okay. So now what? Yeah, Joshua was like frozen in time over there. Uh So much to do, so much to see. Adventure log. Okay, so I guess I'll go back to doing regional phenomena. We'll go explore the four regions. Time to explore. Can I go back and, like, fly around again? When I launch myself through here? Yup! Josha has another mission now, if you want. Oh, he does? Oh, well, shit. She does, yeah. She talked to the guy in the middle of town to open the shelter. Bullshit, I've spoken to her like 13 times. Well, let me see. That was a rather pointless launch, but whatever. The Pura Pad will prove to be absolutely essential for finding the princess, I'm sure of it. So, you'll want the pad upgrade to be even more use, starting with that shrine sensor. But I can't do it at the lookout landing, not with the meager equipment we have on hand here. Even with my genius for these things, I need to upgrade at the Pura Pad Research Lab in Dateno Village. Shop in town also has things, okay. So wait, Robbie's done, but Pura has missions? Go 
Go to Nintendo Village. I will soon. What's going on? For my part, I've been thinking a lot about this village aside from the four regions I asked you to check out. No, nah, she doesn't have anything new. Talk to Josha. Now that I know fragments like this one can help us see the depths in a new way, I'll be searching my collection for more. I'll let you know if this leads to a new breakthrough. Wait, does she have braces? Okay, no, she doesn't. I was gonna say, maybe she should be talking like this. Until then, you should probably focus on the investigations that Doc tasked you with, Georgeman. <laughs> it looks like she should have braces. <laughs> I thought she did too, yeah. Like the, it's like the daughter, Pacha's daughter from Emperor's New Groove with her loose teeth. So she talks like this the whole time? Oh. Oh, dude, pop filters are made for spinning on. I have, I bought mine specifically because I can clean it. Sorry, I didn't greet you properly when you first arrived here, Link. I was just so relieved to see you. My name is Scorpius. I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about that place, any at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best I can. Ah. Now, please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Oh, well, thank you, Balance Hero. That's really nice of you. I appreciate that, dude. And Leon Stormhawk, thank you very much for 27 months earlier. Thank you, dude. Thanks, fellas. That means a lot to me. That really does help things keep going. Hey, it's me. Open up. People are very generous around here, that's true. Yeah, pop filters are made to be spat on. Seriously, they're they're also called spit guards for your mic. Ah. They will help your mic not get spat on if you set them up correctly. This is why I prefer them being washable though, because yeah, they get grody after a while. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. If you try to sing Taylor Swift through the pop filter, will it cut the volume? I don't know any Taylor Swift songs, but... Yes, it will. It will literally grab you by the throat and say, Shut the fuck up. Stop it. Ah. Uh. It will cut the volume hard. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Uh. Emergency shelter. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe haven in times of need. It's quite old, so we've been fixing it up as we go, you see. At this point, we've stockpiled some supplies, and I find it to be downright cozy. What are you doing here? Ah. I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. My tasks involve in taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task indeed. Hi. Watch your footing when using the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than using a tiresome ladder. Ha! But I just, but I digress. Ugh. Check this out. But you can't do this. He's just like, what the fuck? How did you do that? Oh. oh, no reaction at all, really? Hi. Nothing, not impressive. Even though you said that'd be cool. He can do it too, he's not impressed. Look at all this dust. Oh. Hey, I know that face. And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. Mm. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning in here and there's still endless amounts of dust. 
Where does all this dust even come from anyway? Huh? What the? Little sliver of light? <laughs> Is it from that hole? Programming is hard. It do be hard. Oh. Today in the Lucky Clover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to the shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pure as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins thorough investigations the world over. Huh? huh. Guess this paper's a little old. So what else is down here? What all the good stuff is down here? Let's see. Boko Reaper, Traveler Sword. Does this stock like replenish itself? That's it, huh? For now. Mm? Huh? Mm? Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map it tends to get all my the attention. Oh. Are you interested in the different people of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. Well, I'm out on deployment with the monster control crew. I spend hours poring over the maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in lookout landing about Hyrule's various peoples and towns and villages. It's various peoples. Hmm. Aside from us Hylians, there are four other people here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Goron, Sazora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. Oh. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of this lookout landing, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Towns and villages? Hmm. I rule as eight major places that its various peoples call home. Oh, Lord Dam. Lookout landing is located here in central Hyrule. Up northeast of here, there's Rito Village in Hebra. Then there's Gerudo Town. That's located to the southwest in the Gerudo region. You can find Goron City to the northeast in Elden. Travel a bit farther east and you'll come across Terrytown, Nakala. Hey, Terrytown! Good time spent in Terrytown. Not too long from there is Zora's Domain. That's within the Lanaru region. Oh. Continuing into Southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nekluda. Within that cluster, you'll find Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. I hear the village is quite lovely. If you're seeking a tranquil spot, a Tenno village is worth a visit. I also hear it's become a Hyrule's center of fashion. Finally, there's Lurlin Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the peoples of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone everywhere. Hmm. Aside from us Hylians, there are four other people here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Oh wait, I already read this one, didn't I? What about you? Hmm. I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval. Eh, but I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine whether we should make up deployments. Oh. There's been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. Huh? What? Is that really you? Link, you've returned? Such a relief to see that you're here. That you're safe. Oh, let me introduce myself. I I'm Growlins, head of the monster control crew. Oh. We were tasked by Pura to help with the search for Princess Zelda, but Pura has since reassigned us to our original duty. 
It's our job to keep the monsters at bay as best we can throughout Hyrule. Monster control crew. Oh. Yeah, we've assembled a crew to contend with the monster problem. Pure herself has coordinated our efforts. Ever since the upheaval, there's been an increase in monsters throughout Hyrule. Volunteers have been organized into three squads to face monsters head on and protect civilians. Oh. In case you're wondering who I am, I'm the head of those squads. It's my job to strategize and deploy them. For a while, we were adding in the, we were aiding in the search for Princess Zelda. But we've since resumed our res our, yeah, but we since resumed our original mission to help keep the monsters of Hyrule at bay as best we can. Uh. I am told that your skill in swordplay is unmatched. If you ever stumble into one of our squads during your travels, please lend your legendary skills to our plight. Add time. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Um Well shit, what time is it? I can't believe it's already been three hours. What the fuck is this game? I guess I'll play ads. I mean, I kind of have to. I don't really have a choice. It's going to play them anyways. Um, it's 8.30. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, shit. Um, I guess I can play for a little bit longer. This game is causing time dilation to occur. Thank you for reminding me of the ads about to play, though. I seriously may have just missed them. Roll them now, go stretch leggies and hydrate. Yeah, I'm gonna roll them now. And, um... I'll play for a little bit longer, for sure. We'll do another shrine, maybe, or two. But damn, this is an addictive game. I'm shocked how fast time is going by. It's really impressive. Haven't had a game do this to me in a while. So, cool. Be right back. One moment, please.
All right, I'm back. Took out my puppy. He had to go really quick. What'd you guys do during the BRB? Did you improve your life? Did you do squats? Did you try and touch your toes? Seriously, I can't touch my toes. I, I've been trying really hard lately. I can't fucking do it. Playing the game. What? The game was paused. How are you playing it? You sat here doing nothing. Fucking nothing. Why? It's good to stretch. Huh? No, seriously, stretching is really good for you. I need to stretch more. Like, I can... I can bench, I can lift. I, I'm able to, like, pick up heavy things and, and yeet them real far. But stretching, that's where I'm weak. I gotta get way better at that. I can do this in real life. But, like, a hundred times farther than that. That was really weak. You were waiting for me to come back. Oh. Well, here I am. What's up? You got nachos. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Lucky. I have like a big fucking sandwich from Jersey Mike's in my fridge. Yo, Jersey Mike's is a fucking good like sandwich place for real. Get the giant sandwiches. They're worth like the money. Because that's like three meals. For the price of one sandwich. Fucking amazing. You get the Club Supreme. I love the Club Supreme. I like the Cali Club there. It's really good. Well, there's a shrine. Okay, I was looking for one. I figured I'd do another shrine or two before I finish up and then make my way over to um, probably Hebra. Seems like the game wants me to go there first, and I mean... I'm assuming because it's the Rito area, the travel powers are probably going to be back in this game, and there's probably going to be, like, a really, really good one there. Considering the Rito travel power in the first game was, like, the best of the best. That's a good idea. Yeah, I figured it'd be one. But let's see what this is first. The cookies at Subway are better. You know, I've never really had the cookies at Jersey Mike's or... Jimmy John's or Subway. I don't really pay attention to the cookies. It's always the sandwiches. That's why I'm there. Oh, well, thank you, Blood. That's awesome. I had a good time during that Halo stream. It was really nice of Vin to invite me for it. Yeah, Vin and Jeff um, were playing that with all the other fellows, too. Fidget Bum's another really cool streamer you should check out if you don't know him. But yeah, all those fellows are really cool. Maybe if, um... Cursed Halo becomes more public, I'll do a stream of that at some point. Seems like it's kind of closed off right now. While they develop it. But it was really funny. I found a lot of the jokes hilarious. Ooh, what is this? Frogger? No! No, 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 no! Link is dead. Okay, so wait, what do I gotta do? I gotta reverse? They gotta recall this shit and make it, like, stop? Fucking stop! Fucking stop! No, 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 not that fast! Open. Okay, good. Oh! Where's the other car? Where's the car? Bring the car around. So now they want me to make a car. Okay, alright, I'll make a car. I'll make you a little car. You'll go vroom vroom. What's your favorite kind of car, chat? Like sports cars? Like big red sports cars? You know, you, you ever heard of Yuji Naka? Yuji Naka's got his big red sports car. Real, real, real bright red. 
course he can't drive it now because he's in prison. <laughs> How is Yuji Naka lately? What is that funny fella up to? Did he buy it with his criminal money? Who knows? He's had it forever, though. I can't tell which way is forward. Is that forward? I think that's forward. Good. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it's off center, but it works. It's like Bat's car in Fist of the North Star when it, the car they had to get around the wasteland. And what is this? I don't think I'm going the right way. Oh, I am going the right way. Oh, I think I get it. That's going to be weird. Uh, wait, can I reverse that? I think I can. Yep. Okay, so now what the hell is this? I got two wheels. That's it, two wheels? Oh, and the platform that I can bind them to. So what the hell do I do here? Make him go like along the platform like this? God, I hate rotating shit in 3D space. Yeah, like a little car. Like a little car. Vroom. It's a gondola. That was an easy shrine. I can't wait to get to the shrines that are way more varied in terms of how you can approach them. That was a really basic one. Shamaona. Is there another shrine nearby? I was thinking that would would take a bit longer than it did. Yeah, the Ultra Hand creations I've seen in this game have been fucking hilarious. It's this is really such an open-ended game in terms of how you can approach it. I just want to. I want to get into that freeform mode, you know? I want to freestyle. With what the tools the game gives me. People are building airplanes that bomb people. Yeah, I noticed that they're like, like giant dicks that shoot flames, uh, balls that explode, Korok, uh, uh, fucking grilling devices. Planes that drop bombs. Goddamn battle tanks. Korok crucifixion. I did see cock flamethrower, yeah. The Zonai mechanisms are really fun. They add a lot to the, like, creativity that you can, like, I guess, just experiment with. Oh, there's even more parts of this stuff outside. Okay. Where's another shrine? So the Heba region is north west. I guess I can make myself a little car. Why run when I can travel in style? So we need is a board. What's up, little feller? Ah, uh, my friend and I got separated. My friend is setting up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Okay, all right. Operation Korok Extraction is a go. 
I got this. Nope. Incorrect. Scoop him up. Okay or don't. Whatever. Pop your ass on there. Glue him down. Keeps him keeps him safe. Keeps him stuck. It's like a it's like a seatbelt. But sticky. You know? Hmm, no, incorrect. Oh shit! No, turn it off! No, stop it! Stop throwing your shit! Do not yeet! Why do I hear ominous sounds? Uh, hello? Oh. Oh, boy. The blood moon rises again, Link. You'll never guess what just happened. I see these Witness are back. The blood moons rise. When its red glow shines upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Now it has music. Just as they did. Oh my god, fucking massive. I haven't seen that guy yet. That's a moblin. That's a giga goblin. Jesus. But hey, it's a, it's a blood moon, so that means I can make twice as much money on a blood moon, remember? I can collect double my whispers. I got this. <laughs> Fucking <Okay>. terrible. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Not yet. It's the new Tesla model. It's got two-wheel drive. Is that is that all the wheels I get? Oh no, I get I get more. Okay. I don't know why the hell I keep pressing L1 or R1. Oh, because I'm rotating, right? I don't feel like this car is gonna go anywhere. <laughs> Oh god, no no weapons. This is an escort mission. Let me escort. Oh man, I'm gonna get a really poor review for my Uber drive. Okay, we gonna we need to pick this up and point you in the right direction. You're heading this way. Go that way, go. Oh no. <laughs> I 
really need to fix that fucking tire. Stop! We're never gonna get there this rate. What the fuck? Excuse you? Huh? Whoa, 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 motherfucker! What the hell is this? Uh-uh. It's a fucking tree attacking me. Yeah, I think I didn't think you'd like that. I didn't think you'd like that. Won't like this either. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, shit. This is bad. Get the fuck away from me. How the hell do I fight you other than using fire? Do I just sit and wait now? Oh, you need blades. Oh, yeah, that would work. Gotcha. Okay, so how the hell do I know if trees are gonna be a mimic from here on out? What the fuck? It's called an Evermean. These guys were in Zelda 1. You don't. I don't remember them in Zelda 1. You don't know if they're going to be in Evermean. <laughs> Fucking crazy. That's like the goddamn... Did anyone here see the, like, concept art for a fucking, like, bonfire mimic in Dark Souls? It's almost the same idea. Just this innocuous looking object. Being such a source of terror. Oh god damn it, now it's worse! Why is it worse?! What?! So a mimic? Yeah, basically a mimic. But one you would never expect. You left the keys in the car. Very good joke. Need these apples. Okay. Gotta get you over to there, but why is this turning like so stupidly? Wait, what is up with that? What is it doing? Oh, wait, no, it's not reversed. Why is it going in a circle? Which one is wrong? This one? Maybe if I put it like this, it'll be better. Yeah, that's better. This is like Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. This is exactly like Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. Having to make like a fucking cart for something to travel, like to do like an obstacle course with, to carry something. And get the fuck off my cart! You thick fucking gooey boy! Nuts and Bolts, but good. I think Nuts and Bolts is a great game. It's just people wanted a more traditional Banjo-Kazooie game, but Nuts and Bolts itself was a perfectly fine and serviceable game. And was also an arguably very fun. It just wasn't what people wanted. But if you go in expecting Nuts and Bolts, you'll find yourself enjoying the game probably quite a lot. It's like Lego Racers 2, but with actual purpose behind the building. Which, yeah, people compare this to Nuts and Bolts a lot because you're making cars and shit, but it's like... 
In some ways, I think Nuts and Bolts did the car design aspect a lot better because that was its core gameplay. Still, this is really fucking neat. It would have been better received. It wasn't the first Banjo game in like a decade. Oh yeah, no, I agree with that totally. Duh. You done? We done? Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Yeah. It's my shit. Bye. It really do be that poopy though. Got double shit. It's a double shit Sunday. Okay. Uh where was I heading? Hebra. Yo, Fox. Wasn't there a thing with foxes in this game where you followed them to shrines? No, 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 that's Ghost of Tsushima. That's not Breath of the Wild, was it? God damn it, Ghost of Tsushima was such a good game. I remember when Ghost of Tsushima came out, I was like, this is what I wish Breath of the Wild was. I don't know. I like the exploring in Ghost of Tsushima a lot more. I felt like everything, I don't know, had meaning. Which isn't to say that Breath of the Wild doesn't do the same thing. I just liked how Ghost of Tsushima did it better. Ghost of Tsushima devs did a lot of research into what makes, like, open world games really fun. But also into Japan's history. So, like, if you're interested in that era of Japan, exploring that part, exploring that game is, like, really rewarding. Because you get a shit ton of lore. And cool historical anecdotes. And some interesting, like, mystical stuff, too. Oh, look, a wizard. I liked discovering that one shrine that just, like, caused frogs to appear for no fucking reason other than it was interesting. Or, like, that really cool giant rope bridge that just was there. Just the reward was just seeing the cool fucking vista. And then getting a cool, like, artifact out of it that would improve your character somewhat. The ghost team is American devs. They joke and call their game a hamburger samurai. You know what? Let them let do that. Because even Japanese devs, like, praised the game and were like, wow, this is amazing. I can't believe Western devs made a game this, like, accurate to Japanese history. Like, it was a big deal. Darn. Eh? Where'd he go? Oh, you got a thunder rod. Doesn't do a whole lot to you, does it? Maybe this will. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. That'll work. Oh! Ah, shit. Almost had this without healing. God damn it. Whew. Oh, wait. Ah, shit. Uh, no, no, you gotta hold bow button and then activate bow. Okay, there we go. Give me your rod! A Zonite sword made out of Zonite, Topaz Rod. It resonates with attached Zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. 
But wait, is that not a lightning rod? Nice! Cool, now to never use that <laughs> because I don't want to lose it. <laughs> Gotta drop that. Get the Boko Reaper. No more rods. Now you get the effects by gluing jewels on. Oh, okay. So if I find Topaz and a stick, I can make a fucking lightning stick. So you just put a gem on a weapon, you get a magic rod? Or you just slap it on a sword. Interesting. I thought it was... Okay, that's cool. Topaz plus Zonai sword makes a lightning rod. Nyaro hodo. What's this? Oh, this is an enemy camp. Okay. Oh, I see a shrine over there. I think I see a shrine. Is that a shrine up there? No. Oh God, that's a fucking talus. Oh no, 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 I'm out of here. Not with this amount of health. Can I mark this? Stamp pin for boss. I'll come back to that later. It's a battle talus. Yeah, look at that. That's fucking crazy. They got cannons on this fucking thing. It's a mobile fortress. You know what talus is always reminded me of? Was, um... What's the name of the Pikmin guy that... Mut M M M Mamuta. They look like Mamuta from Pikmin. Speaking of Pikmin 4, you have to play. Should I play Pikmin 3 before I get to Pikmin 4? I need to find time for that shit. How is Pikmin 3 on the Switch? Did they did they translate it well to the Switch from the Wii U gamepad? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Okay, cool, because it looks really fun. It's dope. How much longer do we have until Pikmin 4? Now I'm kind of curious. Pikmin 3 is short, but very, very sweet. So it's not super long like Pikmin 2 is. Pikmin 2 got fucking long. Pikmin 4 seems to be going back to Pikmin 2 in terms of like having crazy like dungeons to explore and shit like that. July comes out. Oh God, that's not very far. Horseman. I don't think I'll be playing Pikmin 4 on time, but maybe when it comes out, I'll pick up Pikmin 3. And that'll be fun for people. Hey there, how go your travels? Ah. Have you already met the great fairy near Outskirts Stable? There's a rumor going around us fashionistas that a great fairy's blessing can make your clothes tougher. Uh -huh. Looking fabulous and feeling fearless? It sounds too good to be true, if only I could meet her and ask her. Mm. Right now, the great fairy is locked up and her flower butter won't come out. Frustrating, isn't it? One more thing to blame on the upheaval. Has Desert died yet? I, I have died a few times, yes. I may die again if this doesn't go well. Uh, I don't really want to fight them. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Or goblins, please go. This is a safe place. You can't come here. Didn't think so. Go donkey. Yeah. I'm glad you made it here to Outskirts Stable. I just guard the horses. If you want to use the stable, talk to the stable owner at the counter. Or are you interested in the horses? These beauties used to be stabled southwest of here in Gerudo Canyon. But when the weather changed after the upheaval, it took that stable by surprise. The, hero, the horses couldn't handle the extreme temperatures, so I took them in. Oh. Say, have you heard any rumors about skeletal horses? 
If you take the road north, there's a place called the Sanadin Park Ruins. Folks say they appear there night after night. Are they spirits of dead horses that can't move on? Or cursed horses born in the upheaval? Or... Ha! <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I lose my head as soon as the conversation turns to horses. I love horses. Well, I expect it's just a rumor. But if it were true, I'd sure like to meet one. Skeletal horses were in the last game. I remember that. They were really fucking awesome to find. Yo, was that a fucking well I can just jump into? First instinct, jump into the well. Water quality, fair. Moss growth, extensive. Bright caps, present. All right, that's everything all jotted down. Uh? Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Yes, I am. Ma? I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. <laughs> wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well, enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. Wow. My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I learned that there are 58 wells. Oh, this is a thing now. <sighs> Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. Are we really doing this? Is this really a type of collectible? Wells? Well, shit. But if you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me of any well locations you know of? Ah. I'll reward you, of course. How does 10 rupees per location sound? You've got a deal. Ah. Really? That's fantastic. All right, then. Tell me everything. I haven't found a single well. Ah. I see. This well is the first one you've discovered. Got it. Of course, I know about this well, too. But a deal's a deal. One location, one ten rupee reward. Oh. You can find wells all over the place in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. <laughs> Just imagine, they were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Huh? Oh, I'm going to the lookout landing next. There's a well there I want to see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. Wow, they really, really, really have, like, just massively improved these maps. My major complaint about the original Breath of the Wild was, like, there's no dungeons, there's no caves. There's just shrines and beasts. Oh, hey, Sticky Lizard! Now, now we've got wells as a fucking collectible to find. Wells that appear to have depth to them, secrets to find. There's a fucking fairy glade in here. Sticky foul. Look at all this shit. <laughs> Luminous stone. This mysterious mineral gives off a pale blue glow in the dark, which some believes to be the souls of the dead. Apparently this stone can be used as a base to make some special clothing. <laughs> Looks like these are really valuable then if they're meant for clothes. Where is this on your map? Oh. It's here. I haven't found the tower for this area yet though. So it's like kind of south west of central Hyrule, right by uh, the outskirts stable. Yeah, blunt weapons mine ore faster, that's true. I don't know why I was using a blade there. It's weast. Link, you are a fucking monkey.
I was about to say, are you gonna drown in like two feet deep of water? No way, dude. Lots of glowing stuff in here. Lots of lizards, lots of frogs. You could ascend to leave this well faster. You know what? They said earlier that it was beneath a uh, fucking thing. Hold on. I want to see where this takes me. Like this section over here. Game fixes the rain climbing with sticky potion. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot about the rain climbing before. Oh. Thanks for coming in such bad weather. Uh. Welcome to my stable. We all deal in things horse related, so we also double it as an inn. Him, it seems you're not a member uh. yet. Our stable uses the Stable Association's membership system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Hmm. Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like to tell me about the stable system? Ah. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from their network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. Ah. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Ah. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, how can I help you? Catching horses? Ah. It's simple enough. To catch a horse, just approach from behind slowly so it doesn't hear you coming and hop on. If you really want to be sneaky, approach it while crouching. Ah. Of course, there are wild animals we're talking about. These are wild animals we're talking about, so the horse you're riding might start to act up. If that happens, try soothing it. It will eventually settle down, and then you can bring it to me. Mm. Now, it may take a while for wild horses to get used to being ridden. They may change directions or slow down on their own until you earn their trust and respect. If your horse disobeys your direction, you'll want to gently redirect it and then calm it. And if you continue interacting that way, your horse will naturally begin to trust you and, you'll become, and will become more obedient. Ah. That's all I can tell you about the subject, friend. Ah. Anything else? That's it. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. Pony points? That's right, it's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Since this is your first time with us at Outskirt Stable, you get a pony point. Oh. Oh. Pardon the pardon. Beep, beep. Uses stable earned points. Collecting points grants rewards. Points needed for the next reward, too. Ooh. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Ah. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out your ledger. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. That sounds like way ah. too much work. Come back again anytime. Listen, the only points I really understand are the ones where you get a little card and then you get like a cutout thing and you cut you cut out a little hole on the card and if you get 10, you get a free ice cream. Do I get free ice cream with pony points, yes or no? I'll take your sounds as a no, I don't care. How much pee pee for ice cream? Is it true that your save data carries over from the first game? I have no idea. I don't think so because, oh, hey, it's Beetle. I don't think so because nothing has ever come up that addresses the fact I played the first game. Check your stable with your horses. Oh. Ah. Welcome to the stable. Do you want to lodge with us? A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. A Melania bed will cost you 50. The fuck's a Melania bed? Ah. Horses do carry over. Oh, is that because they were tied to amiibos? I think it's... Weren't they? 
No, probably. I think they were, though. W weren't there amiibo horses? No, where I swear Epona was. Yeah, Epona was an amiibo horse. Just Epona. I don't even know where my horse amiibo went. I genuinely have not seen it for a long time, and I have all my amiibos on my shelf. I don't know what happened to it. Check your stable. Oh, Melania gives you more energy. The horse god may also share a mystical message. This makes a very popular choice among our lodgers. We don't offer this luxury to just anyone. Only customers with at least seven pony points can use Melania beds. Oh, well, I do need a regular uh. bed. Uh, I will use a ticket. Ah. Uh. I guess that makes it free. <laughs> Ganondorf Amiibo also has a unique horse. Yeah, I remember there being a Ganon horse. Um, I don't know if I have any Breath of the Wild Amiibos right now that I can use. Ah. Uh. Good morning. Did you sleep uh. well? Come back again anytime. Actually, I'm curious. Does my Amiibo stuff even work right now? Hold on, how do you activate Amiibos? Amiibo. Connect controller that can read Amiibo. If you'd like to use a Switch Pro controller that's currently connected to console via wired communication, you'll need to disconnect via the USB charging cable and try again. Okay, then I have to do it that way then. It has to be wireless mode. Here's Banjo. Banjo Kazooie, what do we got? Electric Saflina, meat, silent shrooms. What about? What about Smash Link? You can find the Ganon horse in the world without the amiibo. Yeah, you could in the original too, I know. Uh. I'm gonna scan Smash Link. If it lets me. If it lets me, uh, it's not really working, is it? Does this. Oh, there it goes. Whoa! Oh, okay, hi! Okay, got a Pona! Hi! <laughs> I, f I didn't realize Smash Link gave you Epona, but okay then. Sure, why not? Smash Link and Rider Link drop Epona. Okay. So how do I stable my, my horse? Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Please visit the inside counter if you want to lodge ah. with us. Now, how can I help you? Register horse. Ah. Understood, so you want to register. Huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. I'll just go ahead and register any horse that had your name on it. Come talk to me later if you want to take them out. Now then, once again, you want to register this horse here? You want to register it? Yeah. Ah. That's good horse. That's best horse. Normally when we register a horse, we charge 20 rupees, but... We've got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first, your first horse for free. Ooh. Forced horse. Since you're registering a new horse, we'll just add one point to your pony points. Maximum hort. Enter a name for your horse. Huh? Hang on! This is Epona, the horse of legend! Mm. What are you thinking, trying to rename a horse of legend? It'd be disrespectful, not to mention confusing. Also, how the fuck do you have that? So, Epona is it? Yes. Ah. Name registered. You want to take it with you or board it? Board. Shadow facts. Show us uh -huh. the meaning of haste. Your horse is safe with uh -huh. us. Thanks for using the stable. Let's see what other horses I have. Ooh. Take horse. Ah. <laughs> Duty. <laughs> oh God, I forgot about Duty. 
Duty got us through all the hard times. I have two Epona. I had a pink horse at one point. What happened to my pink horse? Come on out, Duty. He is a heavy duty horse. Probably died. Duty has waited six to seven years. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. Come back again anytime. There's duty. All oh, right, because you look like you have a duty diaper. I remember now. <laughs> God damn it, duty. It's good to see you again after six fucking years. Totally forgot about duty. Good shit. Rename him to diaper chief. No, I'm not renaming duty. Duty is perfect the way he is. Duty is beautiful. Duty is immaculate. Duty is a very good heart. Hello, we're welcome. Make sure you visit the stable before you head out. That's just common sense. The Soundskirt Stable, home of the Great Fairy Kaisa. You have a question about horses, you can ask at the counter up front, or you can use the counter inside. Want to stay at the inn? Of course. Great Fairy. Oh. The Great Fairy grants travelers a blessing that gives them strong protection. Well, that's what folks say, at least. <laughs> Did you come to see the Great Fairy Kaisa? Unfortunately, she sealed herself away after the upheaval. She hasn't come out since. Before that, she used to make an appearance from time to time. She's a big fan of music, you know, especially flutes. Oh. Why, when the flutist Piper came by, she would poke her face out of her fountain. It's been a long time, though. She sure loved that music group that used to pass through. I wish they would come by and play for her again. Oh. Uh, my apologies. I was just thinking out loud. Please make yourself comfortable. Bro, what the fuck is this game? Can I just ask a question really quick? What the fuck is this game? Because like, all right, here's the thing. Like an hour ago, I set out, I said I'd do like more than one shrine. I've only done one shrine the last hour and yet I haven't like not been doing nothing. And yet I get to another shrine and yet around the shrine, there's so much shit to do that it's taken me over almost an hour to get through all of the other things surrounding the shrine before I can get to the shrine. Oh my fucking God. There's so much to do in this game. It's an ADHD nightmare. Like ads are about to play again and I still haven't gotten to this fucking shrine because I'm doing all these other things. I'm not complaining, I'm amazed. Hey. Hey there. Are you a fellow traveler on the journey of life? It's me, Beetle! If you forget, my beetle-shaped back is right here to remind you! Wow! In this topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go! Forward! So when I travel, it's forward all the way! I can sell you bugs of the highest quality, and if you need anything else on your life journey, I can sell you that too! Short on rupees? Don't worry, I'll buy anything you don't want weighing you down! <laughs> and what better way to lighten up? Then to sell your rocks, gemstones in particular, fetch a high price. Well, what'll it be? Goodbye. Oh, that's a shame. He's so sad. Well, I look forward to your next visit. Yo, why'd they make Ve why'd they make Beetle into like a fucking snack? Why is he like ripped and toned now? Why has he got like a fucking midriff? <laughs> What's up with Breath of the Wild Beetle and being like, <laughs> like, like fucking swole? It's gotta carry that bag. This guy never skips like they. He is, in fact, by far the hottest beetle we've ever had. I like your beetle sounds like a mix between Morty, Shaggy, and Kermit. It pretty much is exactly that, isn't it? Oh, God. Suit some shrine. 
ads are about to fucking play. It's been four hours. I can't believe this. <sighs> do I do this shrine? Do I play ads and do this shrine? Or do I end it here and do the shrine next time? I, I can't decide. Fucking goat seal alert about to happen. Up to you. Well, ads are about to play. Um, I could do one more shrine and then end for the night. Up to you. I'll do one more shrine end for the night. But, um... Play the ads and think about it. Um, nah, I'll just do one more shrine. I'll play the ads and then do the shrine and then I'll finish up. How about that? So I'll be right back. One moment. And, uh... Some wacky shenanigans. Hopefully we'll go down inside whatever the fuck lays within this shrine. BRB. Just one more. One more. hit the wrong button. Okay, I'm back. Hey, what's up? How are you? Welcome back to whatever the fuck this is. Oh, oh, save progress. Yes. 
We're about to go into a shrine and uh, open Sezagotsi. Get it like sesame, but like Sezagotsi because you know. You just caught something now that could have been bad. Your PSP battery has expanded in size. Ooh! Well, as long as you catch it, it's fine. Just, you know, be sure to dispose of it properly. As long as you know it's, like, happening, you have caught it in time. Okay, what the hell is this? Oh, boy, this looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, last shrine of the night, and I have no clue what the fuck this is, so this will be interesting. Looking like a pachinko machine. So we got balls flying down, we got pins. You can't use that here. Wait, what? Really? Oh, I was about to say. We have Ultra Hand. This is like some kind of paddle. I'm assuming you gotta get the ball in the hole. Looks like I need to make some kind of platform for Link to walk on, maybe? Like that? Kind of, but not quite. I think I need to first attach this to that, right? This one's funny. I'm not quite sure where this is going so far, but we'll see. That gets us up there. Uh, okay, looks like you can take this actually a little higher. Uh, let me get onto this platform first. In order to get the treasure chest up there. Ooh, I just dropped it. Ah. Uh. Damn it. Can I grab that from over here? No. I was trying to see if I could get it to, like... Okay, I guess you can just rip them out. You don't really even need to, like, wiggle it. So I jump onto the other side, I take it out, and I raise it higher... Or no. If I want it to go higher... I want it to be like right about here. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm glad the objects respawn, otherwise that would have been fucked. So what the hell is all this now? There's wind here. Takes you up. There's the goal. There's the hole. Do I reversal? Am I reversing this? 
But how do I slow it down? Well, wait, okay, that... Oh, okay, there's a... There's a pin there. Maybe I can move the pin to block it. Yeah, so it does that. But then I also have to make it so that when it falls on the ramp, it falls on the ramp correctly. Uh... Uh-oh. Is that too far in? What's stopping me from just doing this, though? And just, you know, ball in the cup ball in the hole. Just, just pop the ball in the... Oh. I guess the momentum? Like, if I just dropped it like this... Oh, well, that can happen, I guess. Eh? That doesn't look right. Curiously, you can grab this, though. Oh, okay, there we go, like that. And then... I need to grab that middle one. Bup in the cup. Bup in the call. You gotta Plinko it. It's pretty much Plinko, but like custom Plinko. Like, like you gotta make the Plinko. You gotta Plink it. So grab that. That goes down. I think. It was at a weird angle. Oh, it's at too sharp of an angle. Uh, okay, I need to adjust this a little bit. The angles, it, the, the idea is correct, the angle is not. Like right there, should be good. We need more thrust. More thrust. Hmm. Is it... I feel like I'm like just ever so close to getting this. What the hell do I do now that that's happening? Ball stuck! Ball is stuck. Now what do I do? No, seriously, what the hell? Hmm? Wait. What the fuck do I do now? I don't know how to unstick the ball. Is there a way to get that back? Stakes? How are the stakes gonna get me the ball back? 
Oh, I get it. Wait, I need it back. I need I need my Whatever. I got it. That'll get it working cuz it'll push it along. What? No, that was What? Boggle. Whoa! Oh. It's hitting the rail. Is it? No! Link! I accidentally jumped. I, I, I got my buttons confused. No! Oh, hey, the ball's still here. Oh, wait, hold on. Here we go. This will work, maybe. Push it in. 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 Yes. No. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> too high. Might be too high again. Yep. Need to lower it just a tad. Like there. Please. No. Okay, there. There we go. Into the hole you go. No. <laughs> This is stupid! That has to be it. There's no other way this is gonna work. Get in the fucking hole! Yes! Ball in a cup. Oh, you don't like a pachinko? I feel like these Zelda games are introducing children to the concepts of gambling games, and I don't like it. There's Pachinko, there's Gachapon. What's next? Hookers and Backtrack? I don't think so. Not in my universe. Don't worry, the Smash Bros. mobile game will do that. What do you mean, Smash Bros. mobile game? Shut the fuck up. Don't say that. Give it a few years. Please, no. Kurai, even if they did make Smash Mobile, it wouldn't have better online, you know this. Somehow they would manage it to have dial-up. That was a nice little shrine. That was a nice little shrine. I liked it. I liked that little shrine. Nice little, little, simple shrine. Little... Teeny tiny puzzle for a little teeny tiny link. Not bad. But, uh, I think that's all the Zelda ing I'm gonna be doing tonight. So, uh, wow. What a fucking huge ass game this is. Holy shit, dog. I feel like I've barely scratched the surface of this game, and I'm going to continue to barely scratch the surface of this game for the next several, like, 20 streams of it. What the fuck was that? 
What the fuck was that? Why is this game ADHD me so hard? What the hell was that? I, I can't look away. I, it's pulling me towards it. People didn't see it. People didn't see what just happened. You missed it. There was a shooting star and it hit the ground and it like right where I'm looking. I don't know what's over there. Why not check it out? God. I need my horse. Boy! Go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna go get it before I forget. Take duty. Give me duty. Wasn't that a thing in the first game? I think it was, but I forget what it is. Ah. Have you seen the Zonai ruins at the Dig Dog Bridge? You can get there by heading west down this road with a three-way to a three-way intersection, then turning south. I've heard that the Zonai ruins that showed up are the biggest in the world. Well, I thought it sounded interesting. If you haven't seen them yet, you should take a look. Give me my horse. There's Duty. Let's ride, Duty. Whoa there. Bush. Huh. Hiya, Hayaku, Hayaku, Korea. Oh, whoop, sorry. Spanked you a little too hard there. Would it be funny if it despawned now they looked away? I don't know if it despawned. I wasn't even sure where exactly it landed. It was somewhere over here. It was like a comet came down crashing from the sky. It was on fire. Turns out it was this fox. Cosmic fox. But no, it was like over here. Where'd it go? A red marker has been placed on your map. Well, yeah, that's that's a shrine I think I found earlier. Uh It was over here. Where the fuck else could it have gone? Maybe it was a one-eyed one Horned flying purple people eater. Am I even allowed to sing that song? Or will that get me fucking shit canned? I remember there was a time where you couldn't even sing lyrics to songs without like you getting claimed. That was a really weird era of claims. I don't know if that's still going on, but it should stop. You hear me? It should stop. You are not the rock I was looking for. Where the fuck did this thing go? I see a Korok puzzle. Chat, I, I swear to God, I, I, I saw this thing. It, it, it was falling from the sky real hard, real fast. Should mark that. Yeah. Desert, what? There's another rock that came down, but it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that boulder. That big fucking rock that just came down right now. But it was like glowing. It was red hot. Is it in the water? If it's in the water, it's fucked. It may have fallen in the water. I. Well, that would suck. Because then there's definitely no getting it then. The hell is that? What is that? Oh, that's a coliseum. Yeah, I have no idea where it went. I just remember that guy from the first game who saw Link, like, get on the edge of a bridge and was like, No, don't do it! So many people are depending on you, don't you know? Who are you again? I 
I'm gonna drown before I get back to shore. Can you use that rock that fell to get a sky view? Yeah, you can. If you reverse time, you can go back up. And then, uh, get launched skyward. But it doesn't go up to, like, any islands or anything, as far as I can tell. It just kind of goes up. Some do go up to things. Oh, really? Well, I mean, there was one over there, but I don't know if it's still active. Oh, hey, there's another shrine right there. So if they don't have glowy things over top of them, that means they already did them. There's another one. Right there. What the hell is this? What is that? Some kind of big electricity thing wiggling about. The rock will be gone now, by the way, since the sun came up. Oh, okay. So what is a thing? I just wasn't in time. Yo, wait, wait a minute. That's fucking... Gliok? Holy shit, that's Gliok! Where did this rock come from? Hold on. I don't think I'm ready to fight that thing. Go say hi. Hold on, I want to see where this goes. Yep, that's fucking Gleok. Sure is. Uh, oh boy, this goes very, very high up. There's another shrine over there. Eh. Nani. How much fast you go? Do you go higher? No, you do not. That is a Gliok. One Gliok? I see a shrine. Can I mark from up here? I guess not, not very easily. Oh, I can as I fall, that's cool. That'll work. We've seen one Gliok, but what about second Gliok? What about second breakfast? And lunch and dinner? I want to... I want to be safe about this. Wow, yeah, look at that thing. How do you take pictures again? Thunder Gleok. It's like a Pokedex. It's not a very good photo, is it? Fight it? I don't think I can. This thing will ruin my ass. That's like a whole ass dragon. That's a fucking Gleok down there, bro. Ah, shit! Uh, how does this thing attack you? Oh, laser beams. I, I right there. I want to get a, I want to get a better fo- Oh! Lightning. Lightning! 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 I forgot about this mechanic! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh fuck! Ah! Hey!
and then alone came Zeus. I, I tried to throw away my thing, but it didn't matter. It, it was too close. I don't think gave a shit about that. Oh boy. Uh. Whoa, shit. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my souling was on a roll. Good God. Put a pin on it. Yeah, I'm definitely pinning this. This is this is way too much for me right now. Give it a one more shot, though. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting me. Holy shit, dog. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know how the hell to get close to them. Oh my God. You seem to be doing no damage. Like you have to stun them by hitting their eyes, but all their eyes at the same time, maybe? Is there a way to reflect their damage? That's really fucking neat. This is a cool dragon fight. Smack their ass! Yeah, you gotta find, like, the rubber suits and stuff like that. The rubber suits in the first game would make it so you wouldn't take electric damage. So I'm assuming that for him, you're gonna have to, like, find some form of mitigating electricity in order to, like, even get close to fighting him. What is all his tricks? He like flew up here at one point too. He doesn't just sit there and wait for your ass. He like gets up here. Holy shit, dog! Is there like... I think you have to take out each individual head. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, one, one fuck up though and I'm done. Oh my God. You were joking about the full rubber bodysuit, but that's a thing in, in Breath of the Wild 1. There is a full rubber bodysuit, and it's made for lightning encounters. It's That's why you would get it. You beat Riker, you could beat this. I, I could probably beat this if I was tenacious enough. I don't know if I'm tenacious enough tonight. Whoa! Ah! Uh, let's see. He 
He does not like bombs. Ooh. <laughs> Bombs seem to make all the arrows, or seem to make all the heads back the fuck off. Um, I think you have to run from the lasers. I'm thinking there might be a way to counter the lasers. Maybe eye arrows? Well, yeah, eye arrows would get them immediately to his face. Oh, that does do a lot of damage to him, actually. That actually did a lot. That did noticeable damage to their head. <laughs> Oof. You could parry guardian beams. Well, yeah, you could, but it was frame perfect. I don't know if you can parry these. Their heads do have their own health. That's always been a Gleok thing. Gleok's heads always have individual health pools. That's a Zelda one thing, I think, right? I have no idea if they're gonna fly up and attack separately, though. That would be fucked up. I'm assuming killing the, the heads are the real fight here, and the main body is like... I don't know. Oh god! Oh. Uh... Ow! I can never get my weapons out of my hands in time. At this moment, at this moment, at this moment, moment he knew. Ugh. Getting tongue tied. I remember there was a thing where you could like hurl weapons that were about to like get electrocuted at an enemy and then it would explode in their face. make you guys fuck off? Oh, Jesus Christ. How the hell, how, how the fuck do you all run it? No, 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 don't look at the main body's health. That's not what you should be looking at. The individual heads have individual health pools. That's a one hit KO at this stage. Yeah, it is. I'm fascinated by this though. I don't know if this is beatable or not with my current resources, but I'm willing to find out. Well, I am using wood weapons. They don't conduct electricity. I think the bombs do the most amount of damage I notice to the heads individually. You guys are paying attention to the head health and not the main body health, right? Don't look at the main body health. That's not what you need to be looking at. That big health bar, ignore that. It looked like it did pretty decent damage against the heads. The bombs, at least. 
I mean, this is probably a fool's errand, but I'm having fun, so I don't give a shit. You get away from it in time. I know the answer is more health, more stamina. At the same time, I'm pretty sure every fight in this game can be done with just like no upgrades whatsoever. Huh? This is that kind of game. You have hit the eye with the bomb. You did that on the ground. Yeah, and, and it did a shit ton of damage. It did like half of it. I might have better luck on the ground then. Uh, Link, 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 get Link, get rid of your fucking sh get rid of your fucking weapons! God damn it! Man, I feel like I'm fighting like the menus half the time I'm fighting in this game. Hmm. You gotta hug your pi the hip the yeah, you gotta hug the pillars, right. Cause that way it makes it so we can't like shoot you as easily. It's okay, first I need to put away put away put away your fucking sword, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that does like half damage. That does like half health to their heads. And now I need you to get the fuck back down. Please go back down to the ground. I don't want you up there. Please, God, go back down to the ground. Eyeball homing arrow? Uh... Kind of works, yeah. Back down, sir. Getting a little sick of you flying around up there. Uh Jesus Christ. Construct bow is badly damaged. Almost got it. Oh, I wasn't even using my good bow. Uh, I think I just killed a head. Damn it. I did kill one. I did take one out. So this is possible. One head got sleepy. Good try with the bow. No, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do this with a better bow this time. I was using the wrong one. Nah, this is doable. As long as I don't keep pressing the wrong fucking buttons.
Okay. I think I just took out a head. Nope. Damn it. Ooh. Okay. Whoa! Fuck! Okay, so I'm getting to the point where I can take out at least one head. Can you lure him down to the bottom floor by going down yourself? Probably. No, it's get it's getting it's going well. It's getting better. I'm I'm starting to understand more about this. I don't know if there's other things I can incorporate into this. I wish I could use my weapons more, but I really can't. See, that does more than half health if I get a direct, like, head-on shot. So that's one down already. This is definitely doable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit. Whoa. It doesn't stay down forever, so you have to take them all out at the same time? I think? You have about 20 seconds. You're getting DPS checked. Not for long, I'm not. If you had a Lionel bow with triple shot, that would be really good here. I don't have one of those. I haven't encountered a Lionel yet. Maybe come back later. I'm having fun. One more try. One more try. I feel like I'm getting close here. I just can't get hit. You know, that's that's all. I just I just can't get hit. Well, what about the white choo-choo jelly? Hmm. Oh, right. Whoops. Huh? 
Well, this is going to be a bad start. Not that it matters. It's a one-hit kill anyways. Okay, now, now actually hit it this time. Hmm. Anything else I have that's good for combat? Maybe fire fruit? Leoc just seems to want to fly around no matter what level of ground you're at. Leon just appreciates air superiority. Oh, God. Hmm. You can have slow-mo shots if you activate the bow midair. Maybe more bombs is the way to go. I need to find more bombs so I can blow up all the heads and then take out the main body. <laughs> it's like, what, who the fuck are you up there? Come on down! Oh my god, that range. Bombs are around trees and depths. Wow, you go really fucking high up. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know if I can fight this thing, honestly. I mean, I've given it a fair shot, but whatever. This might be a future stream. Because I'm thinking I don't got what it takes. <laughs> do you even get back on the ground? Like, ever? Oh, I guess you do. Block the electricity with your shield. So wait, that is a thing. So can you parry it? It eats through shields really quick though. Yeah, I imagine it does. I just want to see how much like a dive bomb attack will do on this thing. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that makes sense. Would a rubber mushroom or your shield block the lightning? I think so. Anything rubber would probably block the lightning and mitigate the damage, yeah. But I don't really have anything rubber right now. I just got stung. And mushrooms. Regular old mushrooms. Hmm. Oh well. That does seem like a really fun fight though. I'm sure once I get like better gear I can come back and fucking destroy this thing. This enemy looks cool as hell. That's a Gleok from Zelda 1. Multi-headed dragon. They do not like bombs to the face. But I don't like getting blasted to mine, so I just die. Every fusion adds at least one damage to arrows.
Yeah, but you can only fuse once, right? How are you feeling about this as compared to Breath of the Wild so far? I feel it's a massive improvement over Breath of the Wild. Um, I feel that it's absolutely the game I expected Breath of the Wild to be when it came out. Um, I feel that it does things better than Breath of the Wild in a lot of ways. But I also feel it's disingenuous to call this game a DLC like I've been seeing some people say. Uh, that is so not what this game is. It's not even funny. This is what a sequel should be in the gaming industry. An improvement over the previous title and taking feedback into account which addresses problems that players had in the original. One of which was the lack of really cool enemies to fight. There weren't a whole lot and I'm finding more and more cool enemies the more I play this and it's really neat. Um, all the mechanics of the previous game are here, so that whole treasure trove of gameplay is back. And... I don't know, you got, like, now layers to the world to explore. A major complaint was that Hyrule was very empty. Now it doesn't feel so empty. It feels like there's something to do every fucking five feet in this game's world. Um... There's a huge sense of exploration and danger. I love it. I think this is a fantastic open world game. I'm losing track of time as I explore this game's world and try to just decipher all of its secrets and... I'm finding things that people are saying they never found before and their gameplay... It's a fucking amazing game. It's a really, really solid sequel and it's exactly what I expected it to be. Breath of the Wild was not even my favorite Zelda. My favorite Zelda is like OOT and Majora's Mask, and definitely Majora's Mask. Um, and it's very, very different from that. Even still, I can recognize this as a Zelda game because it just kind of feels like one. Despite all its differences. It's a very different type of Zelda game, but it's still feels like a Zelda game to me. I don't know how to explain this. Other than it just works. It feels more Zelda than Breath of the Wild did. And I think that's because of it feels a bit more focused in terms of where it wants you to go and it has like actual caves and dungeons to explore. It has like the world feels like a bigger, better Zelda world where you can go anywhere at any time as opposed to a big open world with Link in it where Link himself feels removed from another game. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Basically, I'm saying that everything feels a lot more well put together like, there's a cohesion between all the different gameplay things that make it add up to feel like a Zelda experience. But mostly, there's just more to do, and I think that makes this a massive improvement over the first game. And I can definitely see, like, it looks like they've gotten better at rendering things in the distance, so the engine seems to have gotten a bit of a refinement. It's nice to revisit a familiar world and find it also feels refreshing and new again. That was awkward. So yeah, I do like this. I like this a lot. And I think it's... When it comes to the price of $70, that's a hard one. Do I think games should cost that much? No. I don't. However, I will say this. They did recently increase all the salaries of everyone at Monolith Soft, and I know they're heavily involved in this game, and I'm wondering if it's linked to that. If game developers are being paid more to make a better product, then I feel like a $10 increase 
has slightly less negative connotations, but I'm still not very okay with it. Because I feel like games are getting too expensive as it is for the average person to afford, and most people buy games on sale now as a result. But if they are increasing the pay of their employees as a result of them increasing the price of these games, then that's different. That means they can af that means the people working on these games can af have a better pay and, you know, have better lives as a result of their labor. It's a complex subject. I don't feel I wasted money on this game. Is what I'm trying to say, and I don't feel like its price is too high. But it is definitely a controversial aspect of it, in that this is going to be a $70 game probably for the next five, six years. They do at least offer the voucher to get it, but you're also paying more for the voucher because you're paying over you're paying over the price to get a second game. Huck. What was that saying? I want shorter games with shittier graphics with better gameplay and the employee and the employees get paid more. I mean, in a perfect world, yeah. In a perfect world, yes. That would be a nice way of going about it. Um, I think game designers do deserve more pay and if game prices are going up to reflect that, I feel like that's a positive thing, but also at the same time, I'm not sure if that's exactly why these prices are going up, so I can't say if there's a direct correlation there. All I know is I got this game. It was a hefty chunk of my wallet and my budget, but I'm not regretting it. I'm not regretting this at all. And I think this game is a lot to show and people should give, definitely give it a shot. Even if the first couple hours are probably rough for some people because it's a lot to get used to. Um, stick with it. You'll find that there's a lot to enjoy in this game, I think. Especially over the first Breath of the Wild. If, if you didn't like the first Breath of the Wild, I still feel like this one's worth trying. What's your favorite thing you've glued together so far? Ah, uh, shitty little elevator, like, gondola thing. Dumb little cars, stuff like that. But I'm having fun making these simple contraptions, and I think that's what's... Some, I think that's something to look at in terms of, like, this game is making making stupid contraptions fun and seem worthwhile. And that's what's good about it. It masterfully weaves puzzle gameplay into its formula. And it rewards creativity a lot. And I'm stalling in front of this shrine because I just realized ads are about to play again and I can't believe it's been another hour. Um, oh God. Do I play ads again and then go into the shrine? Go as long as you like. <sighs> well, I guess I have to play ads. They're gonna play over this stream anyways. So, um, I guess I can, I don't know, BRB and collect my thoughts a little bit more, do this shrine, and then probably end for the night. But we'll see. Hopefully it gets you a dollar. Um, yeah, they, they pay like five bucks a stream maybe or something. Depends on how much I stream. Ads are not the most profitable thing on Twitch. I mostly play them just so they get, don't cover up the gameplay at random when people join. Maybe after this one's a good stopping point? I think so. It's getting kind of late. So, uh, let me do this. Let me, um, play a BRB, do the shrine, and then we'll close up for the evening. It's more than what I thought you'd get from them. 
It depends on the day. It depends how many people are around. I don't get a lot off ads because most of my channel is subbed. But I do this for people who are not subbed because I don't like them missing content. Oh, well, thank you, Metro. That's nice of you. I appreciate that. I'll be right back. And then we'll do a shrine. Herb. Yo, the ads aren't over, but I just want to say thanks for hanging out here, by the way. I I know there's a lot of streams going on right now. <laughs> and everyone else is playing this game, but thank you, fellas. That means a lot. Just wanted to say that. Did anyone here go to FWA? I think Neri did. Yeah, Neri did. I don't go to cons, personally. Don't know if, if, if I'd ever go to one, honestly, but sounds fun. He's still there, ain't he? I don't know. Hotels are expensive. I have no idea. There's a couple decent ones in Texas. Yeah, I've heard. FWA. It's a convention. Yeah, it was like a rave. All the videos Neri was showing us look like a crazy party. Lots of people. It looked like a Hitman level. It kind of did. I think I'd go to like an anime convention or something. That could be fun. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Have like a little meetup. Anyways. Let's continue into the shrine.
Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really have a specific kind of con I'd want to go to. I mostly go to reptile cons, if anything. But, um, maybe like an anime con or like a comic con kind of thing could be kind of fun to go to, casually. QuakeCon is always something that's interested me. I've heard, I think Zot went to that once and said it was fucking awesome. Good! Off to a great start. I looked at chat and immediately jumped off a cliff. Does it, what happens if you glue a lizard to something? Um, nothing. Lizards can't be glued to anything. They're impervious to glue. Glue falls right off their scales. <laughs> Prove it. I can't. It doesn't stick to me. So I cannot show you the glue that falls off me. <laughs> You'll just have to take my word for it. What the hell is that? Big target. Okay. This is pinball. This is pinball. What? Ow! Dick! Yeah, it is pinball. What the hell? Okay. So put that like that. Uh, can I break this off? No? I guess not. Maybe I can put it at an angle? No? What is the point of this thing? I mean, I can take this with me. And there's like these rods. Maybe I need to make some kind of, like, barrier to prevent it from flying off? As I shoot it up the ramp? Oh, okay, that doesn't work like that, does it? Is it your birthday, Hoff? Happy birthday, dude. No, seriously, happy birthday, if that's real. Yeah. Also, ow, Karai, what the hell? A lot of birthdays in May, dude. So many birthdays in May. I feel like there's been a birthday, like, around this stream's community every fucking day of the week. November babies. That's like August. That's like September or November. That's like Thanksgiving ish. Okay, I understand. So that's going to fly off that direction then. Okay. So I think I have the right idea. But I gotta make it 
work, I guess. I don't know what else to say other than it's 4D chess time. Boom! All right, well, at least that hits that. Desert, this is pinball. I know. So I got to get it to bounce off that. And... Uh... Okay, well, that clearly doesn't do that right. It's more like baseball. Wait, there are two. How do I get into there? What? So it flies off that direction, usually. Just the right bar. If I make that solid, it's gonna bounce off of it, right? If it hits it. this work unless uh... maybe I make the paddle longer Like, really long? Make it a scoop? No, I think I just solved it. Or, well, it looked like I did for a second. Like, I got it, like, perfect. Like, right now! Yup. Cool, so that's that side. So where's the other side? Okay, there's that side. Oh, I get it. It has to overcome the impact velocity. Okay. That or I bolt that fucking thing down. Yeah, just gotta pin it up. There you go. But not quite like that. Uh. Can I, can I get it to
damn it. Not quite. Hold on. Can I get that to... Can I get that to, like, hold steady? No? Does a stake go through the board? That's what I'm trying to figure out. No, it does not. Make the pull longer. Hold on a second, I have an idea. Uh... I could get it to just be held up or like just ever so slightly pushed aside. I wish I could do it like that. That would be perfect. Oh, whoop. So, take this. Upside down stake. You put that up like that. Don't grab the big one, though. Grab the little one. There you go. No, wait. No, 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 no. Like that? Does, will that work? Yes! You are overthinking this. I am not overthinking this. That will work. Booyah! Overthinking my dick! What you saying about my overthinking? Hmm? That's not working? I don't think so. Give me that elixir. Got my fruity juice. I'm out of here. I'm out. I like these shrines more than Breath of the Wild so far for some reason. I don't know why. I just kind of do. They feel a lot more interesting for some reason. Does it? Can you fix tits so I can throw things at you? Is it broken again? Oh, it's not even on! Kurai... It wasn't even on for some reason. I thought it was on. Try it now. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah, I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> My bad. Ow! Stop. Ah. 
What's your problem? I turned it back on, but now you assault me? I did what you want. Get he ass. No! That's it, I'm ending the stream. I was gonna do one more shrine, but guess what? You just lost your stream privileges for the night. Good. Oh. Well then maybe I won't end the stream. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just keep keep going, you know? Maybe maybe I'll just play forever. <laughs> nah. Nah, that was a lot of fun though. This game is a fucking joy, man. It really, really is. I really am enjoying the fuck out of this one. So, um God damn, this was almost like a six hour stream. I gotta be careful with this game, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Time floats away. So quickly, so fast. You can hardly keep track of it all. Like sands between your fingers. But yeah, I had a lot of fun tonight. I hope you did too. Um, I'm gonna take a look and see if there's any art right now. There is art actually, so hold on a second. Let me take a look and see what people have made. If you have any art for the stream, I like to show it at the end of the stream, stream-related art. And uh, if you want to know where to send it, you can always send it to the stream art section on the Discord or to my uh, art Twitter, at uh, desertp underscore art on Twitter. And I'll take a look at what people have made. some arts tonight. Lots of arts. Well, got some doodles. Monochrome made a whole bunch of doodles. <laughs> you got desert laughing like a pirate, me? <laughs> Referring to myself in the third person. <laughs> Why am I laughing like a pirate? Do I laugh like a pirate? <laughs> I love that face, though. Oh, he lives of being Captain Hook in Tears of the Kingdom. Why, because of the hooks? <clears throat> it is a game that has hooked me, I will say. They've also got, um... The guy who works for Hudson. Hold on, let me uh, scale this down. Big resolutions. Should I just go? <laughs> <laughs> and also a very big Pagona. Oh, you've been drawing up a lot of stuff. Big Pagona. Yeah, I love how the guy who um, was like Hudson's fanboy also had his hair cut. That was just great. He was really into Hudson, though. I don't know. Maybe they're related. Maybe they're related. Just has a lot of pride over the guy. It's not a bad thing. They also made this. Oh, it's the whiz robe. <laughs> Hi. Twang. <laughs> and along came Zeus, who made a thunder bat. Hey, I didn't get hit by the thunder bat. I did a sick dodge out of way away from that thunder bat. Now the Gleok, they got me with their lightning. There you go, that, that's more accurate. And then along came Zeus. <laughs> Perfect, beautiful. Thank you for all the art. I, I, I really do appreciate that monochrome. Hey, monochrome, in the future, I, I noticed the resolutions for all these are really big and you can kind of fit them all down to like 1080p somewhat. I think what you should do is, instead of submitting all these different ones, try and like maybe combine them into like more or, or less, or, or like, you know, just one big one. And that's a lot more manageable for the art segment. Especially if it's a bunch of like, you know, smaller random little doodles. That tends to work better. 
But overall, I appreciate this a lot. Thank you. It looks like you had a lot of fun watching the stream. Yeah, just one big doodle page, or it can be really fun to look at and just like, I don't know, dissect. But I love this. Thank you so much. I'm, it's cool to see so much art. And then uh, we also got art from Ali. I have a brain. It's huge and throbbing. I'll go in a brain cam. It's just, it's just the roach clinging to a coffee cup. You have no idea how accurate this is, Ali. That really is all that's going on in my brain. It's roach milk. That's not a coffee cup. That's, that's a cup of milk. Oh yeah, it is. I see it now, the outer rim. I thought it was a coffee cup, but either way, that's very accurate. Very accurate. I saw a stock photo of roach milk. I'm telling you, it's becoming more common. People are starting to figure out the secrets behind roach milk's nutrition. It'll become mainstream, you'll see. One day, one day, scientists said it'll happen. Are humans gonna be ready for it? I don't know. You will be though, because I prepared you. And you already are eating the bugs, right? You are eating the bugs, correct? Good. Continue to eat bug. But, um, I think that's all the art I got for tonight. So, again, thank you, fellas, very much for all the art. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for everything you guys do, all the subs and the shits and the, the bits and just chilling with me and wanting to hang out over a nice video game. I know there's a lot of people playing this game right now on Twitch. I am so aware of that. Uh, thank you so much just for wanting to hang out here of all streams. It means a ton to me. It really, really does. And thank you for all your support as well. Just, it means a lot. It helps things keep going. And thank you for the raids too, Limes and Vin. And I know Vin's live right now, but he raided the other day and it was really, really, really nice of him. So um, just, I don't know. If you also, even smaller streams when you guys raid, I really appreciate that. So thank you for just being enthusiastic about the stream and letting me do what I do. I might be around tomorrow. If it is, it'll be earlier. It won't be later. Uh, so it might be really early. It depends if I'm up. What'll it be? I don't know. Uh, it might be more Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom. It might be Mega Man. It might be Xenoblade. I'm not sure. I got a busy day. But I might want to stream before I have to do shit. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. If not, I'll see you Tuesday. But, um... Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, though. I do. I, I mean, a lot. I mean that. I, I, I know. I, I am very grateful for you guys. I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words tonight. I'm going to get going. I'm clearly tired brained and starting to ramble. So uh, again, thank you one more time for everything you guys do. And uh, I will see you maybe tomorrow. I am tired. Yes, it's now hitting me how much energy I have left in me. That was a long fucking stream. Good night. Gonna go raid Vin, I think. Bah. Logan said bye too. You saying bye, buddy? He was boofing. Greetings.
Kings Nerevar. Have you heard of Undertale? 